great to see you all here. My name is Charles Adams. I'm the Dean of the Duke Gilchat Honors College, and it's my pleasure and privilege to uh, preside over this uh, Spring 2023 Honors Graduation Ceremony. We're so proud and so happy uh, for these students in front of you. Uh, they're a great group. Um, they have demonstrated um, throughout their entire undergraduate career a passion for excellence, and I think um, maybe most importantly, a desire to go above and beyond what's um, absolutely required of them. As you know, you can graduate from USF without being in the Honors College, but these students have chosen to challenge themselves and to do things that are not absolutely required, push their, push their limits, and I think that that characteristic is going to um, be a very a great thing for them going forward in their lives. And so I'm excited to see what they do. This group in particular has uh, dealt with some very challenging circumstances. We all know a lot about that. Uh, if, uh, they, they came to USF before the pandemic. They lived through the pandemic and they persevered and they succeeded uh, through, the, through the pandemic. And so we're proud of all of our students every year, but we're especially proud of this group this year and others uh, to follow them who, uh, who dealt with these very, very difficult challenges. So before we get started and begin to recognize our, our students, um, I want to say thanks to a couple of groups in the room. First is you all sitting in, in front of me, uh, the families and supporters of our students up here in front of the room. Uh, my wife and I, a long time ago, put two girls through college, and so we know um, that it takes a village. We know what it takes to, uh, to get these students to this point, and um, I'm so proud of all of you for the support that you've given um, over the years. Uh, you know about those, I know about those late night phone calls, the uh, occasional transfusion of cash, or whatever it is that uh, <laughs> might be necessary to, uh, to get the student over a particular hurdle at a particular time. And um, I thank you uh, for that. And uh, college, thanks you for the support that you've given. So let's give yourselves a round of applause. Please. faculty advisors and professional staff of the Jimmy Genshaft Honors College. Uh, I'm privileged to work with these people every day. Uh, these are the people that your students have probably talked about, um, their advisors, their faculty, the, the staff that help them. And I'm very appreciative of the passion that they show for, their, for our students, uh, their commitment to our students' success, and it's inspiring uh, to work with this group every day. So please give them a round of applause for all the people. <laughs> explain a little bit about the, what we're going to be doing this morning, uh, the process that we're going to follow. Um, I'm going to call up each student one by one in alphabetical order, and they're going to come up to the front here. You're going to make your way to the front, and you're going to be given a medallion um, over your neck, and it's uh, not that heavy. You can, it, won't, it won't hurt. And uh, with that, speaking of that medallion, wear it to graduation. Uh, when you, you're going to go to all university graduation, it um, marks you um, at graduation in that sea of green. Uh, as a graduate of the Judy Genshaft Honors College. And I can find you in that sea of green, and President Law can find you and others that uh, recognize you and, uh, and the accomplishments that that medal uh, represents. I'm going to say a few words about each student. And uh, the, say, the, the things that I say, uh, I wish I could say that I know every student in the, in the college, all 2,500 students, and I know them well enough to say a word or two about them. I don't. Um, what I'll say is based on a questionnaire that the students completed and when they, these questionnaires were compiled, and questionnaires follow a very uh, simple format. Uh, it asks the student's major, uh, something about the student's uh, research project, either a, an honors thesis or a capstone project, and um, a little, uh, question about uh, what their favorite memory is from the honors college, their honors college experience, uh, their college accomplishment in USF, and then something about where they're going from here, what their plans are. So, um, each uh, each bio will follow that, uh, that basic format. I'm going to recognize a few uh, special um, individuals. Uh, in particular, this morning, we'll recognize a couple of three. Uh, King O'Neill Scholars. And these are students who are graduating with a perfect 4.0 uh, GPA. And really quite a remarkable accomplishment, um, especially considering the challenges the students have undertaken and challenged themselves um, with. So um, as I read through the uh, bios, I would encourage you to feel free to cheer. This is not a very formal occasion. Take pictures, get up and take pictures. Don't hesitate to, to uh, come forward. This is a special moment uh, for your students, and we don't want you to feel constrained um, in 
celebrated uh, our students' accomplishments. So without further ado, let's move to the, uh, the important business uh, for this morning to recognize our, our honored graduates. Our first graduate is Philip Abu Sakur. an honors capstone project in which she created interactive TikTok posts on the importance of reproductive justice and how one can help. This is before the law. Uh, her favorite honors experience was being a mentor for 30 plus residents as an honors LLC residential assistant and attending a service trip to Puerto Rico to help rebuild trails in El Yunque National Rainforest. She'll be spending the next four years attending the Edward Via College of Osteopathic Medicine in Virginia a career as a physician. Congratulations, Lord. The next graduate is Rama Abdul Majid. If I mispronounce your names, feel free to correct me. I'll do the best I can. I heard it raised in biomedical sciences. For her honors capstone project, she identified the various occupational risks that affect performing artists and how their experiences and perspectives can be used to shape research in the field of performing arts medicine. Rama's favorite honors experience was studying abroad in Heidelberg, Germany. She says, this is a quote from the questionnaire, living in another, in another country reignited my love of travel while also broadening my cultural understanding and worldview. I'll never forget it. She intends to apply to medical school, pursue a career as a physician. She's excited about her future in healthcare and can't wait, she says, to make a difference in people's lives. Congratulations, Tom. <laughs> Next is Sierra Anderson. Sierra <laughs> completing her degree in biomedical sciences and psychology. Her Honors Capstone Project examined the way students' demographics influenced the precautions that they took during the pandemic and analyzed the relationship between their college majors and certain specific precautions taken, such as vaccination status. Sierra's favorite Honors experience was fulfilling our community service requirement. She volunteered in the kitchen for the homeless and says, I felt a strong connection to my community and enjoyed serving those in need. Next, Sierra will be shadowing a nurse practitioner and gaining medical experience while applying to medical schools. Congratulations, Sierra. <laughs> Our next graduate is Mary Carmen Andruskovic. Mary Carmen is completing a major in biomedical sciences with a minor in public health. For her capstone project, she explored the implementation and clinical outcomes of healthcare quality improvement projects in relation to the healthcare system. Her work on this project was presented at the 2023 USF Undergraduate Research Conference. Her favorite honors memory is studying abroad in the Dominican Republic as an intern for the Parole Initiative for Community Health. In the month she spent in the, in the Dominican Republic, she learned so much, she says, and formed great connections. Next, she'll take a growth year to work full-time and gain experience applicable to her career goals. After that, she'll be applying to graduate school. Congratulations, Mary. <laughs> Our next graduate is Kyle Balyaba. Kyle is degree in mechanical engineering. He completed two honors capstone research projects, typical honors student. The first conducted as part of a study abroad semester in Germany with the Hochschule Osterbrück, uh, presented research on highly efficient bus lines and created an entire blueprint on how to implement some of those ideas for our very own heart system. No comments from the audience. Uh, for the second <laughs> capstone, he explored various facets of the, of the new Judy Genshaft Honors College building, which sits over on Genshaft Drive uh, near the Union Center. It will open next week. Um, during his planning, design, and his construction, they contributed to the building's holistic experience. Kyle hopes to find a job in the automotive industry as a mechanical design engineer and eventually attend graduate school for mechanical engineering. Congratulations, Kyle. <laughs> Amanda Barrett is our next graduate. 
graduate art degree in industrial engineering. Her capstone project on innovation and sustainability in engineering explored recent technological advancements in German engineering with a special focus on renewable energy, e-mobility, polymer and metallic materials, and agriculture. Amanda's favorite honors memory is traveling to Germany on a study abroad, on a study abroad program exploring the cities and touring the manufacturing plants of one of the most technologically advanced countries in the world was, she says, impressive and unforgettable. Amanda plans to return to school for her master's degree in engineering management while working at Tampa Microwave in quality assurance. Congratulations, Amanda. <laughs> Anna Carter is our next graduate. completing a degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in Spanish. Her honors capstone project grew out of her realization that college students need better sexual health education. She highlighted resources available to students at USF as well as other off-campus resources. After working with on-campus <coughs> groups, her team created a pamphlet that could be widely distributed with the goal of increasing access to birth control and STI testing. And his proudest accomplishment at USF was spending many early mornings practicing with the rowing team. In the fall of 2022, their four-person boat had a perfect race in Tennessee, and she was proud of their dedication and determination. And it will be a culture and language teacher in a primary school at the Ministry of Education in Spain. Congratulations, Anna. Our next graduate is Oriana Castro Gonzalez. Oriana's degree is in chemistry, with a concentration in biochemistry and biotechnology, and a minor in math mathematics. Her honors thesis compared VA and non-VA hospitals in the era of COVID-19 in the Tampa area and analyzed how COVID-19 impacted them in relation to medical standards. Oriana's proudest accomplishment is, she says, gaining research skills while conducting her thesis research. She worked with leaders in local hospitals, gaining valuable communication and organization skills. Next, she plans to study for the impact and the fundamentals of engineering. Congratulations, Oriana. Caitlin is 
is completing her degree in microbiology with a minor in infection control. Her honors thesis investigated the differences in fungal colonization in both sterile and live inoculates of tomato plants. Using agricultural soil and forest soil, she sought to determine that urbanization can lead to a higher abundance of fungal interaction between root systems compared to soil from a natural environment. Peyton's proudest accomplishment in USF is being named a 2022 Goldwater Scholar. The Goldwater Scholarship is the most prestigious national scholarship in science, engineering, and mathematics in the country. Next, Caitlin plans to work as a residential counselor for the Summer Discovery Program at Barnard College and Columbia University in New York City. After that, she'll apply to PhD programs in microbiology. Congratulations. <laughs> T cell surface uh, on the ability to kill a myeloma, a 
Excel line and propose two mechanisms by which that could happen. The right mechanism could, he says, lead to the discovery of new therapeutic targets and agents. His favorite honors experience with living and then serving in the honors LLC, Living Learning Community, as, a, as an RA, resident assistant. He got to share his culture as an Ecuadorian uh, through with his residents, through his food. He's also proud of winning best chemical engineering product capstone design for a three-in-one drug for diabetes. As it hopes to work for two years in the pharmaceutical industry and pursue a PhD in bioengineering at Stanford. His goal for the next 10 years is to launch his own biotech startup in the field of immunotherapies. Congratulations, Isaac.
София Госкин.
Emily's favorite honors memory was having a chance to study abroad in London with the Honors College. She loved taking the capstone class with Dr. Young and forming bonds with the other students with whom she studied abroad. Next, Emily will attend law school at the University of Miami. Congratulations, Emily. <laughs> Next graduate is Audra Pinkley. Completing a degree in biomedical sciences and anthropology. The honors thesis compared traditional methods for estimating the age of death of skeletons with a more modern computer program to those they analyzing using 80 traits. Audrey's favorite honors memory is traveling to Europe for a study abroad program by herself. Next, Audra plans to attend medical school. Congratulations, Audra. <laughs> Next is Ruchi Corday. Honors thesis used microbial source tracking to identify sources of fecal contamination in environmental water bodies. The sensitivity and specificity of two human associated genes from E. coli were analyzed in this study. The proudest accomplishment was for completing the honors thesis. We designed the experiment, completed and processed the samples, analyzed the results, and wrote a 29 page thesis on the outcome. Ruchi is also a, a recipient of the King O'Neill Award for maintaining a perfect <laughs> Ruchi will next enter the University of Michigan's program in biomedical sciences to pursue a PhD in microbiology and immunology. She's been awarded the National Science Foundation's Graduate Research Fellowship, which provides her with three years of financial support during her time in the PhD program. Congratulations. Next graduate is Ksenia Kovalaisian. Ksenia's degree is in health sciences with a concentration in biological health sciences. Her honors thesis analyzed dental clinic design, layout, and architecture in different locations and formulated an ideal dental clinic design and floor plan, taking into account the effects of architectural and design elements on both the patients and the dental professionals. Senia's favorite honors memory is becoming an honors college peer mentor and teaching an honors foundation class for first year honors college students. This is a course for incoming freshmen and a transition to college course for honors students, top level class students. Next, she'll enter the Doctor of Medicine and Dentistry degree program at the University of Florida. Congratulations to Senia. Vincent Kroll is our next graduate. He's receiving his degree in sociology and women and gender studies. Vincent's honors capstone research explored the justice processes that take place after acts of extreme violence, such as war, genocide, and mass displacement. His proudest accomplishment at USF was becoming involved in social science research and being inducted into Phi Beta Kappa, the nation's oldest academic honors society. Vincent is also a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0. <laughs> Next up, we're applying to law school with the goal of entering law school in the fall of 2024. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is Skylar Kaiser. receiving a concurrent degree in biomedical sciences and public health. Her Judy Hinchap Honors College thesis used cancer registries to analyze treatment and outcome data in order to determine if large disruptions, such as natural disasters, are associated with a change in treatment and outcomes. Scholar's favorite honors experience was living in the honors LLC during the fake freshman year. It's definitely a pattern in the LLC today. Scholar continues to work, um, will plans to continue work at the Moffitt Cancer Center in the Infusion Center, conducting research in the machine learning department while applying to medical school. Congratulations, Scott. <laughs> Stephen Long is our next graduate. <laughs> he is in health sciences with a minor in nutrition. 
Stephen's Honors Capstone was completed as part of a performing arts and medicine course. His research helped him better understand the nature and shortcomings of current practices in performing arts and medicine in order to be an advocate for better resources and training for artists and the practitioners who care for them. His favorite honors memory is the study away trip that he took to the Florida Keys. Next, Stephen will enter medical school at the Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine in Bradenton. Congratulations, Stephen. <laughs> graduate is Junai Lin. <laughs> Junai is graduating with a degree in criminology and a minor in psychology. Her honors capstone project involved creating a documentary with two of her peers titled The Depths of the Estuary. In this documentary, she worked with the Tampa Bay Estuary Program to share their message regarding the Bay's health and what we can do as a community to better protect it. After graduating, she'll be working with the National Policing Institute in Virginia, and then will pursue a JD and become a lawyer. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Sydney Marshall is next. <laughs> Sydney's receiving her degree in biology with a concentration in medical biology, as well as business analytics and information systems. She completed an honors capstone research project in which she investigated gender-based disparities in the utilization of the internet to acquire healthcare information. In short, she says the findings reveal that women exhibited a higher inclination than men to utilize the internet for exploring sexual health-related information. Sydney's favorite honors experience was engaging in a stimulating discourse with the Right Honorable Henry McLeish, a former First Minister of Scotland and visiting professor in the Honors uh, College, on matters ranging from racial discrimination in America to Brexit. Sydney is another of this morning's E. O'Neill scholars with a perfect 4.0. <laughs> she will be joining the analyst class of 2023 at BNP Paribas Corporate and Institutional Banking in New York City. Congratulations, Sydney. Our next graduate is Haley Matthew. Haley's degree is in management with minors in public service and leadership. Her Honors Capstone Project examined the Con Connections Program, a joint program of the Judy Genshaft Honors College and the Tampa Museum of Art. The program makes art accessible to people with dementia, Parkinson's disease, post-traumatic stress disorder, substance use recovery, and other conditions. Explored how the museum can engage can increase engagement by counteracting the barriers to participation, including stigma. Her proudest accomplishment at USF was being named a 25 under 25 honoree by the Muma College of Business, which recognizes students who demonstrate academic excellence, leadership, community service, and professional accomplishment. Haley will next finish her second bachelor's degree in biomedical sciences at USF and continue to work as an undergraduate researcher at the USF Bird Alzheimer's Institute before applying to medical school in 2024. Congratulations, David. <laughs> Next is Catherine Lupini. <laughs> After completing a degree in political science and economics with a minor in philosophy and legal studies. Her honors capstone project focused on the Sixth Amendment crisis in America's public defender program. She learned that COVID-19 exacerbated hiring and retention challenges at public defender offices across the U.S., which meant that fewer attorneys were taking on more cases. This unsustainable workload, she says, this decreased the quality of counsel that indigent defendants have access to, violating their Sixth Amendment rights. Catherine's favorite honor's memory was acting as a peer mentor and having the privilege of working with two classes of freshmen to transition them to college. She plans to attend law school and specialize in appellate right, civil rights litigation with a focus on the Sixth Amendment. Congratulations, Catherine. <laughs> Jenna Leshevsky is our next graduate. <laughs> she is completing a degree in chemistry with a minor in public health. Her honors research capstone course explored news coverage of current events in American society. Her proudest accomplishment was earning the D. Martin Outstanding Chemistry Award 
which is not named for the state, which is an award given to a top student majoring in chemistry. Jenna plans to attend the University of Florida to pursue a master's degree in forensic toxicology. Her goal is to work full time as a teaching laboratory specialist while earning her degree. Congratulations, Jenna. Next is Tia Moriarty. She is double majoring in history and world languages and cultures while completing a business certificate as well. Her Judy Gunshot Honors College uh, thesis surveyed the history of Chinese influence in the Americas through a culinary lens. The project followed cultural connections and the development of cross-cultural culinary influences in the Americas. For this globally focused research project, Tia was awarded the Honors College Thesis Award this semester. He was also a 2022 inductee into Phi Beta Kappa, the nation's oldest academic honor society. Tia's proudest accomplishment at USF was supporting the growth of residents and students as an honors LLC, resident assistant, and peer mentor at the Honors Foundation. She says seeing, seeing residents and students reach their goals has been incredibly rewarding. Congratulations, Tia. Our next graduate is Pierre Ahmed Mushtaq. She has degrees in quantitative economics and econometrics and computational and applied mathematics. His honors capstone project highlighted the roles of the people who were involved in the making of the new Gene Goodchap Honors College building, and material from the project was presented in this year's Honors Magazine in Mosaic. Pierre's favorite Honors experience was meeting Honors Advisor Arnie Mejias, he's in the room somewhere, and the philosophical conversations they shared about the meaning of life, nihilism, existentialism, and more. <laughs> next, next peer will be looking for a job. Erin um, <laughs> <laughs> Nichols is our next graduate. Erin is completing a degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in psychology. Erin's capstone course was completed as part of the USF in London program and applied a phenomenological approach to interpreting various excursions around the city of London. The course is taught by philosophy at PhD. Erin's proudest accomplishment was the recent submission of a manuscript that she worked on in Dr. Xi's organic chemistry lab. During her time in the lab, she helped to run and design experiments that resulted in the publication. Aaron is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Next up is graduating, Aaron will be attending Nova Southeastern University to earn a Master's in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Congratulations, Aaron. <laughs> Next graduate is Liliana Nivia. or physician assistant school. Congratulations, Lillian. Next graduate is Philip Okonkwo. Philip is graduating with a degree in biomedical sciences and a minor in public health. For his honors capstone research project, he partnered with the Little St. Nick Foundation to assist them in providing services to pediatric patients in hospitals. Philip's favorite honors experience was living in the honors LLC during his freshman year, making friends and forming new connections. He'll be entering the workforce while applying for medical school. Congratulations, Philip. Our next graduate is Ritul Pepini. She's completing concurrent degrees in criminology and psychology with a minor in anthropology. Her capstone research project explored various writing styles from flash fiction to poetry. For the final project, she created a short story piece that was workshopped in an honors creative writing class. Vivian's favorite honors experience was being co chair of the volunteer committee of the Junior Young Honors College. 
and the plans to attend law school. She aspires to be a criminal lawyer, working for the government, and representing those who cannot advocate for themselves. She'll also pursue a master's in public policy. Congratulations, Dina. Our next graduate is Tamara Gurea. Tamara is graduating with a major in health sciences and a minor in psychology. For her capstone course, she focused on our connections program and completed the literature review of research on Parkinson's disease. She explored its causes, symptoms, and treatments with a special focus on art based approaches to dealing with it. Tamara's favorite honors memory was taking the narrative cartography class with Dr. Salem. The class was, she says, very emotional, reflective, and introspective. So she never felt so close to a group of people as she did in that room. Tamara is also graduating as a King O'Neill scholar with a perfect 4.0. Our next graduation, she will enter the Doctor of Physical Therapy program at the University of Florida. Congratulations, Tamara. Our next graduate is Maria Quintana Torcoche. Maria is graduating with a degree in biological biomedical sciences and a minor in nutrition. For her capstone project, she researched the relationship between reproductive health and justice and U.S. prison systems. She created a website to provide individuals with various resources, including podcasts, toolkits, articles, and papers to highlight the disparities in reproductive health care and justice in incarcerated women and people of uh, Maria's proudest accomplishment was being invited to become a member of the Phi Beta Kappa Society, the nation's oldest and most prestigious honor society. Next, she will enter dental school at Marquette University in Milwaukee. Congratulations, Maria. Jennifer Ricasso is our next graduate. She's receiving her degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in behavioral health care. For her capstone project, she created a documentary focusing on mental health struggles of college students. Jennifer's favorite honors memory was studying abroad in Florence. After graduating, she'll be applying to medical schools. Congratulations, Jennifer. Our next graduate is Aziz Raymond. <laughs> Aziz is graduating with a major in biomedical sciences. His honors thesis focused on a group of Moffitt nurses here in Tampa and used statistical analyses to understand the potential mediating relationship between state mindfulness and cognition. Aziz's proudest accomplishment is fi finishing his bachelor's in three years and continuing straight into medical school. He plans to enjoy the summer and gear up for medical school at the USF Morsani College of Medicine in the fall. Congratulations, Aziz. <laughs> Next is Daniel Reichert. <laughs> Daniel is a business marketing major with a minor in leadership studies. His honors capstone project was intended to improve participation in the Advanced Manufacturing and Robotics Center's Fab Lab um, and by a variety of demographic groups in the community around the university. Daniel's proudest accomplishment at USF was enabling the USF Rotaract Club to expand exponentially and serving the organization in many different roles. During his time at USF, the club went from one of the smallest clubs on campus to the largest service organization at USF. Daniel plans to take a growth year to volunteer as an accompaniment uh, missionary with the Evangelical Lutheran Church's Young Adults in Global Mission Program. Congratulations, Daniel. <laughs> Harlan Reinhardt is our next graduate. <laughs> Harlan is receiving her degree in biomedical sciences with minors in deaf studies and psychology. She participated in the Honors Capstone course taught by Professor Sakai, focusing on the new building on the Tampa campus. For her project, she explored the concepts of architectural design, construction, structures, and lighting 
uh, with an emphasis on nature and sustainability. Her favorite honored experience was living in the Honors LLC her first year. Experience camaraderie and support from her fellow Honors students. Carla will be taking a growth year. She applies to medical school and will continue working as a phlebotomist, pursuing research and volunteering. The next graduate is Leilani Roberts. Leilani is graduating as a chemical engineering major. Her capstone project research the effects that current events and political awareness have had on the lives of youth in the past 20 years. These effects were evaluated through the lens of socioeconomic status, mental health, and community involvement. Leilani's favorite honors experience was attending the Honors in Peru Study Abroad program. He will work at Boeing full-time as a materials process and physics engineer starting this August. There she will be optimizing coatings and paints on different aircraft. Cool. Congratulations to Leilani. <laughs> Next is Amber Ruiz. Health Sciences with a concentration in Biological Sciences. Her capstone project resulted in an interview documentary with the Tampa Bay Estuary Program on the importance of the Tampa Bay Estuary and how we can protect it as a community. Amber's favorite honors memory is her Geology of the National Parks class, kayaking, um, taking a kayaking trip on the Hillsborough River where she was able to see Florida wildlife, including lots of alligators and turtles. Amber plans, I'm glad you're back. Uh, Amber plans to attend dental school and one day open her own practice, perhaps continuing her education to become an oral maxillo max maxillofacial surgeon. Congratulations, Amber. <laughs> Alyssa Russell is our next graduate. <laughs> Alyssa is a cell and molecular biology major with a minor in psychology. Her capstone project focused on transitional justice and how war crimes are handled in varying countries. Her proudest accomplishment is graduating as a first-generation college student. That's great. Next, she plans to take a growth year while working full-time and deciding which PA school she wants to attend. Congratulations on this opportunity. Our next graduate is Kelly Salute. current degrees in cell and molecular biology and in creative writing. Her English department honors thesis was titled The Poisoned Well, in which she wrote the first couple of chapters of her mystery novel centered on a detective and her partner. Kelly's proudest, proudest accomplishment at USF was completing her thesis with the help of her amazing advisor, Dr. Karen Brown. Kelly plans to attend graduate school to get her PhD and then work in research. Congratulations, Kelly. Next is Lane Shepard. She's a biomedical sciences major with minors in astronomy and biomedical physics. Her honors capstone analyzed how social, cultural, and political concepts, issues, and beliefs are constituted and perpetuated in various geographic regions and communities. Lane's favorite honors memory was spending her first year in the honors LLC. Uh, she made great friends, she says, and was well taken care of. Lane is currently negotiating a junior biologist position at Systems Planning and Analysis Incorporated, advising the Defense Threat Reduction Agency. Congratulations, Lane. <laughs> Next is Marina Tobias. She's receiving her degree in cell and molecular biology with a minor in infection control. Her honors thesis sought to discover the extent of knowledge among college-age students regarding climate change. Her thesis posed the question, do they care more and are they moved to action once they know how climate change directly affects their health? Marina's favorite honors memory is the knowledge and experience she gained in a course entitled How to Save a Planet. To her, it was so empowering to see her peers come together to learn about a crisis and become so passionate about wanting to solve it. 
Next, she plans to get her master's in biology and conduct research on the natural world, as well as participate in medical and biological discoveries. Congratulations, Marina. Our next graduate is Chung Chong. He's receiving his degree in psychology. He participated in Professor Sakai's capstone course on the new honors building, through which he says he greatly expanded his understanding of the complexities of building instruction. His favorite honors memory is of getting to know the students and professors with their many diverse perspectives. By interacting with individuals from different backgrounds and fields of study, he gained a deeper understanding of the importance of taking an interdisciplinary approach to education and personal growth. He hopes to get into medical school and eventually to become a physician in emergency medicine. Congratulations, Sean. <laughs> Next is Salam Kwan. <laughs> Salam is completing her degree in biomedical sciences. She participated in the Honors Capstone course in performing arts healthcare, in which she was able to illustrate how performing artists need specialized healthcare and research the best, best treatment methods for them. Her favorite honors memory was during her capstone course when Dr. Burns let the students practice some very basic band steps with the USF marching band director. She says, I have a newfound respect for our band as it is not easy for someone with no rhythm. <laughs> she plans to take a gap year consisting of work, travel, and self-discovery. She'll also be preparing to apply to a physician's assistant program. Congratulations so much. Catherine Wall is our next graduate. <laughs> Catherine is a biomedical sciences major with a minor in biomedical physics. Her honors capstone project emphasized the importance for hospital administrators of maintaining an optimal environment for healthcare workers, as job dissatisfaction may have a detrimental impact on the workplace. Catherine's proudest accomplishment is having her research published and presented at the undergraduate research conference here at USF. She plans to attend medical school with the goal of becoming a sports medicine physician. Congratulations, Catherine. <laughs> Next up is Tyler Williams. <laughs> Tyler is finishing his degree in business analytics and information systems. He completed an honors capstone project in London, where he studied phenomenology and applied it to the experience of walking in the city of London, observing how his experiences, senses, and perspectives shifted as he explored museums, gardens, city squares, and various other sites in the city. Tyler's favorite honors memory is serving as president and intern with the Nav Navigators, a student ministry, allowing him to help young, young men adjust to college. After graduating, he'll be joining the Navigators uh, on a full-time staff internship. Congratulations, Tyler. Audra Wood is our next graduate. Her degree is in Integrative Animal Biology. Audrey's, Audrey's uh, Judy Genchap Honors College thesis explored temperate bacteriophages, which have an immunity repressor that prevents the expression of genes that cause cells to pop. Um, her work tested individual genes to determine if they confer similar protection to the host cell. Audrey's favorite, proudest accomplishment at USF was her involvement in research and becoming president of the Pre-Veterinary Society on campus. She plans to attend veterinary school in the fall and eventually to pursue a surgical residency. Congratulations, Audrey. <laughs> and Yarbrough is next. Psychology with a minor in Spanish. For her honors capstone project, she produced a documentary that explored mental illness and how it impacts the daily life of students at USF. Anna's favorite honors experience was having a class party on the last day of the Contemporary Middle East course, taught by Dr. Jawad, where students were able to hang out and try food from the Middle East. I should, I should have known about that. <laughs> Anna plans to continue her education at USF and pursue a career in teaching. Congratulations, Anna. Thank you. 
Reese Beeching is here. Reese, there you are. Reese is double majoring in psychology and philosophy with a minor in applied behavior analysis. She completed the Judy Gifchat Honors College thesis in which she identified deficits in the healthcare system and how eating disorder treatment can be specialized for individuals with autism spectrum disorder. Elisa's favorite honors memory is taking a class taught by Dr. Taman, in which she was exposed to the cultures of Southeast Asia and took part in Hindu celebrations in the Tampa area, broadening her horizons. Elise plans on working and accumulating unrestricted, accumulating unrestricted hours in the applied behavior analysis field in order to become an assistant behavior analysis before starting a USF's graduate ABA program in the fall. Congratulations, Elise.
want to take a step back. Um, we have a student here that um, we've inadvertently skipped, so I'm going to call up Aranita Giridharan. <laughs> Aranita's degree is in mechanical engineering. Her honors research capstone project was related to her study abroad program hosted by Osnabrück University of Applied Sciences in Germany. In it, she explored how solar energy can be used to reduce the level of carbon emissions. She modeled and calculated potential placement of solar panels on the Tampa campus and the energy generated. Aranita's favorite honors memory is working as a research assistant. She was one of the authors of a publication entitled Automated Corona Discharge for Efficient and Broad Spectrum Surface and Air Sterilization in the Environmental Pollution Journal, led by Dr. Ying Zhang. Aranita plans to pursue a Master of Science in, uh, degree in Engineering, Design, and Innovation. Congratulations, Aranita. <laughs> two things are going to be done. First, I want to thank um, special, uh, all the staff here, a couple of people who worked very hard to put this um, event together. Uh, Dana Taylor and Diana Cullen, thanks very much to, to them for doing this. The scripts that I read through, you can imagine how much work went into doing that, putting those things together, and the slides. So I'm going to name the students uh, who did this work. These are student assistants working under, under Mr. Taylor in the Marketing and Communication Division of the college. Thank you very much to Crystal D'Souza, Amri Naveen, uh, Maria Isaacs, Ari Carrara, uh, Rivi, Rivi uh, Gandhi, and Alexis Agni. Thanks very much. <laughs> We're going to take a moment and get a photo of the entire group. If I could ask the audience to please remain seated for just a second. We're going to, I'm going to invite the graduates to move up those, center, those side aisles, sorry. Take the side doors out to the fountain. If you all just remain seated for just a moment, once they're out there and gathered around the fountain, we'll all go out and take group pictures and then individual pictures as well. Thank you all very much for being here and go Bulls!
Greetings, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the Spring 2023 Honors College graduation ceremony. I'm Charles Adams. I'm the Judy Genshaw and now Dean of the Judy Genshaw Honors College here at the University of South Florida. It's a pleasure to welcome you. And it's a nice to find you You're right. You're right. <laughs> Thank you. Much better. Almost too good, actually. Move that way a little bit. To host this, um, this wonderful ceremony. It really is a delightful ceremony. Um, I love uh, this time of year. This is what it's all about. Uh, graduation is what it's all about. Getting students to this, this point and launching them um, into the next chapter of, of their lives. Um, I want to, uh, you know, we, we really do want to spend most of our time today honoring uh, these students and, and congratulating them on all of their achievements. Uh, they have um, gone above and beyond what's required. Uh, you don't have to uh, be in the Honors College to graduate from USF, and many, many, many don't um, join the Honors College and graduate from USF. But these students have chosen to undertake a, uh, a, a rigorous curriculum to challenge themselves, to push themselves, and to try things that might be a little bit out of their comfort zone. And that willingness uh, to challenge themselves, I think, is going to position them very, very well uh, going forward. It's a, it's a character trait that's going to be very, very beneficial to them uh, going forward in life. And so this group um, and, and a couple of others, a couple of other, other years, have of course dealt with some very, very difficult challenges. Uh, we all know a lot about those challenges. These students entered just before, typically entered just before COVID and, uh, and worked through COVID, um, studied, persevered, and succeeded um, through, through the challenges that uh, the pandemic posed. And so while we're very proud of all of our students, all of our graduating students every year, um, we're very especially proud of this group and others who dealt with those challenges, persevered, and, and succeeded. So congratulations to all of them uh, for that as well. I want to say a special word of thanks to a couple of groups up here today. The first group is you, um, the families and supporters, um, relations, and other friends of the of the graduates sitting up here in front of us. Uh, my wife and I put a couple of girls in college um, many years ago, and so I know what it takes um, to support students who get to occasional transfusions of cash or required, uh, whatever it takes. Um, to uh, you were there and you're here today, and uh, for that I want to thank you. And on on behalf of the honors college, thank you and congratulate you for. A wonderful job to get uh, get these students up here today. So give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> and I also want to take a moment and thank a very special group of people that your students know, and that is the uh, the staff of the Judy Genshaft Honors College, the faculty, the advisors, and the professional staff. Uh, many of whom are here uh, in the back of the room. Uh, these are people that your students do know. They've worked with them for years, and in many cases, worked very closely with them. And uh, in many cases, uh, I, I know that your students are willing to, uh, to give the people on this staff uh, a great deal of credit for their, for their success uh, here at USF. So I want to say a special thank you to all of them. I'm very privileged to work with these people every day. Uh, their commitment to student success is extraordinary, deep, and abiding. And um, it's a pleasure um, to work with these folks and see the great work that they do to get help get these students uh, to this point. So thank you very much. Let's give them a round of applause. So without further ado, let's turn to the, um, the important business uh, of the hour. Um, here's how this is going to work. I'm going to read the names of each of the students up here in alphabetical order. And they're going to come up um, and uh, they're going to be given a medallion uh, by one of our bestowers up here in the front. And the medallion, by the way, when you get your medallion, uh, be sure to wear it to university graduation. I hope you're all going to university graduation. Um, it's, uh, it's a lovely medallion, and it'll help me and others pick you out of the sea of green um, there in the, in the university graduation ceremony. Um, wear it proudly. Um, and I'll say a few words about each, each uh, student as they come up to the front of the room. Um, the uh, things that I will say about them are based on a questionnaire that the students themselves have completed, and uh, they typically will involve uh, uh, the major, the student's major, um, a, uh, something about the research project, either the capstone project that they undertook or a, a, an honors thesis, uh, something about their uh, favorite memory of the honors college or USF, and finally something about their, their plans uh, for the future. Um, and again, uh, um, 
this is all based on, on what, the, what the students have, have told me. I wish I knew every one of our 2,500 students well enough to do that, but I need a, need a questionnaire. So um, we're going to also recognize a couple of um, special groups um, today. Uh, one is the King O'Neill Scholars, which are students who have graduated or are, are graduating uh, with a perfect 4.0 GPA. And I will recognize those students as they, as they come forward. And um, let's see, I also want to encourage you to, uh, you know, this is not so formal. I hope this is not uh, so formal that you feel uncomfortable and cheering for your students, getting up, taking pictures. Uh, don't worry about it. This, we're not that, uh, not that uh, stuffy, I hope, um, around here. And please, please feel free to, uh, to, to cheer them on. This, uh, this moment, this, this season represents a, a lot of hard work, and you should be very proud of them and give them, uh, give them the, the applause that they deserve. So without um, further ado, uh, I'm going to uh, get started. And our first graduate, I'm going to call forward, is Farah Altafruri. is receiving her degree in biomedical engineering. Uh, she completed an honors capstone course uh, called Perspectives in Performing Arts uh, Healthcare, in which she and her fellow classmates focused on appropriate treatments for performers in a way that would best allow them to continue performing safely and to meet the high standards that they set for themselves. Ara's proudest accomplishment at USF, she says, was being an author and a publication in the RNA Biology Journal. Next, she plans to attend the uh, University of Florida and obtain a master's degree in biomedical engineering. Congratulations, Farah. Uh, next graduate is Carolina Arcia. Carolina is graduating with a major in cell and molecular biology. She completed an honors capstone course in which she investigated how biological sex influences health-seeking behaviors amongst college students. Her favorite honors memory is her months spent abroad in Florence during the honor college's physician's observing observation program. Next, she plans to apply for medical school and become a practicing pathologist. Congratulations, Carolina. The next graduate is Huda Arif. completing her degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in psychology. Her honors capstone course in digital video production enabled her to create video projects showcasing her creativity. She made a thriller short film as well as a cooking tutorial in two different directions there. Or maybe this is the same, I don't know. It would be in my case. Uh, Uda's promised accomplishment was raising over $5,000 in just a month for the Muslim Students Association as that organization's president. Huda plans to attend dental school. Congratulations, Huda. Adam Bailey is our next graduate. Adam is graduating with a degree in biomedical sciences. His capstone course was titled Capstone Seminar in Current Events in Civic Literacy, for which he wrote a personal essay reflecting on the ways in which current events have influenced the arc of his life so far. Adam's favorite honors memory is his study abroad experience in the Dominican Republic, being able to volunteer in mobile clinics, and the connections he made with the host community, he says, will be something that he remembers for the rest of his life. After graduating, Adam plans to do research at Tampa General Hospital during a gap year. He also hopes to travel the world before attending medical school. Congratulations, Adam. Next is Jennifer Bainbridge. <laughs> Jennifer's graduating with a degree in Integrative Animal Biology. She completed an honors capstone course titled Patient Satisfaction as a Reflection of Leadership, in which she examined the key factors driving hospital patient satisfaction and differences between reports of dissatisfaction from men and women. Jennifer's favorite honors memory was a class she took, 100 Days of Discovery, 
It was based around a creative project that they would contribute to a little, a little to each day for 100 days straight. She says it was a fun concept and something drastically different from the rest of her classes. She plans to apply to veterinary school and hopes to gain more veterinary and life experience as well as some rest uh, during a gap year. Congratulations, Jennifer. Next graduate is Gianna Bello. Gianna's uh, capstone course was called Oral History, Discovering the People Behind the Scenes, in which she interviewed the professionals involved in the design and construction of the new Judy Genshaft Honors College building over near the Yingling Center here on the Tampa campus. She, she gathered stories from these professionals and created a collection of oral histories that will help future honors students and insight into the process of creating the new building and the people that influenced it. Gianna's favorite honors experience was participating in the International Teaching Assistant Language Partners Program because she says it allowed her to build new relationships and gain personal insight into a different culture. She'll begin a master's program in personal wealth management in the fall and then work toward a law degree. Congratulations, Gianna. Next is Sofia Venegas Vanes. <laughs> she is completing her degree with a major in biomedical sciences. Her honors capstone course uh, was titled Time, Desire, and Satisfaction. In this course, she investigated the experience of time and its relation to perception, anticipation, memory, imagination, sensation, mood, desire, and satisfaction using phenomenological hermeneutics as a resource with the goal of understanding the structure and qualities of first-person experience. Sophia's favorite honors memory is, she says, the friends she made along the way. Next year, she'll be taking a gap year, and then she plans to go to dental school. Congratulations, Sophia. Our next graduate is Anshika Baumik. majored in computer sciences with a minor in mathematics. She also took an honors capstone project in digital video, using her video creation skills across diverse genres like storytelling, persuasion, journalism, and instructional videos, while mastering techniques such as camera operation, editing, lighting, sound design, and voiceover narration. She then created a thought-provoking documentary-style video that featured compelling in-person interviews and meticulously researched information. Ashika's proudest accomplishment was serving as the president of the Students of India Association, in which she led the team in organizing cultural and professional events. After graduation, she plans to work as a technical analyst for the finance team at Cummins Incorporated to gain industry experience and contribute to the organization's success. In the long run, she plans to take an MBA. Congratulations, Ashika. Madison Blankenship is next. For her honors capstone course, Madison participated in a research project with the goal of determining what obstacles are preventing USF students, faculty, and staff from utilizing electric vehicles. The research also sought to determine what measures other universities are currently implementing to help diminish these obstacles. Her favorite honors memory is her experience working on a semester-long project for the Student Green Energy Fund with her capstone partner, research partner. She's currently preparing to apply to optometry school for the 2024 school year. In the meantime, she plans to work for an optometry clinic where she can gain further experience in the field. Congratulations, Madison. Her next graduate is Naren Bolineni. graduating with an economics major. This capstone uh, course was called Influencing Outcomes, in which she focused on underrepresented populations of college students and exposed the structural disparities in the university medical system. Naren's favorite honors memory is working with his consulting team to revive and market Riotel, a family-owned hospitality corporation in Quebec, and his conversations with Mr. Mejias, one of our, our director of advising. He plans to attend medical school and work at J.P. Morgan. Congratulations, Bob. Our next 
Next is Adelaide Capia. Adelaide is receiving her degree with majors in chemistry uh, with a biochemistry concentration and in mathematics with a pure mathematics concentration as well as, well as a minor in Spanish. Adelaide completed the honors capstone course writing called Writing Crafts, Telling Your Story, in which she created original works of fiction. Her favorite honor of memory is meeting with the former First Minister of Scotland, the Right Honorable Henry McLeish, visiting professor in the Honors College. Adelaide is also a 2022 inductee into Phi Beta Kappa, the, the nation's oldest um, academic honor society. Adelaide plans to work as a mathematician. Congratulations, Adelaide. Michael Chase is next. Michael is receiving his BS degree with majors in environmental science and, and policy and integrative animal biology. He completed the Judy Genshaft Honors College research thesis in which he conducted an extensive literature review on a viral disease affecting marine turtles to identify gaps in our current understanding of its dynamics as well as areas that should be focused on in the future. Michael's favorite honors memory is the opportunity to complete his own independent research project through the honors thesis, in which focus on an area of long-standing interest to him. After graduating, he will be pursuing a, an MSc degree, a master's degree in eco ecosystem science and policy at University College Dublin in Ireland. Congratulations, Michael. Next graduate is Emily Cecchio. She's receiving her degree in biomedical engineering with a minor in Chinese. I love the conjunction that we work on today. Um, biomedical engineering with a minor in Ch Chinese. Emily completed a capstone course um, in which she researched how socioeconomic status plays a role in, in the way individuals responded to COVID-19 safety guidelines. The aim of this quality improvement project was to further de determine which behaviors, such as wearing a mask indoors, physical distancing, eating out, traveling domestically, or traveling internationally, are influenced by the socioeconomic status of the students study. Emily's proudest accomplishments um, were making, she says, making a novel biopsy device, patenting a unique corneal drug delivery method, and learning Chinese. She'll be taking a semester off from school to gain industry experience in the biomedical engineering field. Starting next spring, she'll be attending a graduate school in which she hopes to complete a dual master's degree in Chinese and engineering management. Congratulations, Emily. Thank you. Daniel Chowdhury is next. Daniel's graduating with a degree in biomedical sciences. His honors research project examined the impacts of opioid prescriptions by dentists um, on the opioid, opioid crisis in the United States in the past 30 years. His favorite honors memory is being able to converse with a former United States Central Command uh, CO about his experiences in the Middle East. As someone who has a background um, in the Middle East, being able to talk to someone at such a high level about the ethical aspects of some of the United States missions was truly, he says, an invaluable experience. He plans to apply to dental school in the upcoming cycle and fulfill his dream of becoming a dentist. Congratulations, Daniel. <laughs> Our next graduate is Alyssa Eman. Her degree is in secondary mathematics education. Her honors thesis explored the knowledge and skills required to help all students uh, learn mathematics. Her proudest accomplishment, she says, was becoming a successful pre-service teacher. She plans to attain a master's degree in secondary and middle grades education with a concentration in mathematics. She also plans on subbing full-time to gain more teaching experience. Congratulations, Alyssa. Riley Faulkner is our next graduate. <laughs> Riley is completing his degree with a major in biomedical sciences and a minor in sociology. He completed a capstone course in creative writing in which he learned about relating a thought or idea through the written word and how to tell a story in a way that captures the reader. 
His favorite honor's memory is, he says, the connections he's made and meeting some of the most talented and smartest people around. Next, he plans on getting a job and going to the beach. Not necessarily that old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Our next graduate is Anna Ferrier. is in public health with a minor in nutrition. Her Honors Capstone explored how the Connections Program, a partnership between the Honors College and the Tampa Museum of Art, could expand its programming to be more effective in reaching those with neurodegenerative and mental disorders by exploring musical therapy and performing performance art. Her favorite Honors memory is having discussion-based classes that touched on topics that she's passionate about and did not have a chance to explore in her public health major, such as Shakespeare and stories of growing up. And after graduating, she plans to complete her master's at USF in epidemiology and global health, uh, with the eventual goal to lead a public health organization. Congratulations, Anna. Arwen Finn Wells is our next graduate. She majored in health sciences, with a minor in psychology. Arwen completed a capstone course on the Connections program as well, in which she learned how mental, medical and mental health conditions, especially dementia, depression, and substance abuse disorders, can be treated through facilitation of art interactions and activities. Her favorite honor's memory is of her capstone course. She says it helped her grow in an unexpected way and develop a passion for art. Um, currently, she's applying to the MBA program at USF and working full-time Encompass that. Congratulations, Arlene. Our next graduate is Maria Fornale. <laughs> Maria is graduating with a double major in biomedical sciences and psychology. Her capstone class focused on our new honors building on the Tampa campus and allowed her to explore behind the scenes in the construction of the building. She describes her favorite honors experience as, quote, working with the honors faculty during my four years at USF and getting to participate in the South Korea Beyond the Classroom Study Abroad trip. Next year, she'll take a gap year before starting medical school. Right after graduation, she'll be working full-time at Vitruvian Med Pro in Boston, Massachusetts, while submitting medical school applications. Congratulations, Maria. Our next graduate is Thomas Tchaikovsky. Thomas is completing his degree in quantitative economics and econometrics. For his honors capstone project, he focused on the power of politics to shape people's perceptions. His favorite honors memory is, he says, being involved with so many people. He believes that networking and connections are essential not only for his professional but personal development. Uh, he built his greatest connection in his capstone course with Professor Dan Ruth, who was a surprise winning columnist uh, for the Tampa Bay Times and a visiting professor in the Honors College. Ellis plans to work in the private banking industry with Safra National Bank of New York's Asset Management Division. Congratulations, Thomas. <laughs> Our next graduate is Francisco Javier Garcia Mayoro Peña. Industrial Engineering. For his honors capstone course, he researched whether creating an on-campus second-hand clothing store would be beneficial to for students and sustainable, and if it could reduce traffic and reduce wasted clothes. His favorite honors memory is learning so much about XR, and look that up, extended reality, and his potential in his honors metaverse class. His next goal is to complete a Master of Science degree in Engineering Management at USF. Congratulations, Francisco. Next is Hannah Carmina Halili. Hannah is, is receiving her degree in mass communications. She completed the capstone project in which she filmed, wrote, edited, and produced a sit-down journalistic style interview with Alton Walter, owner of a local indoor football league in a video wall studio. 
and as proud as accomplishment at USF was becoming the assistant sports editor for the USF campus newspaper, The Oracle. She was given the opportunity to interview NFL players, Alex Galesh, a football coach, USF football players, and USF basketball players. And a plans to seek employment to fulfill her dream of becoming an NFL sideline reporter. Congratulations, Hannah. Yeah. Next graduate is Anna Kate Emma. Kate is completing her career with two majors, psychology and biomedical sciences. She completed a thesis that examined caffeine supplement usage among the USF student population, the timely subject this week, including the quantity of consumption, reasons for use, and implications associated with overdose. Take that key. Anna's proudest uh, proud accomplishment is being able to get into medical school while graduating in three years. The goal is to become a pediatric endocrinologist. Congratulations, Andy. <laughs> Christian Helms is our next graduate. <laughs> Christian is receiving his degree in health sciences with a minor in nutrition. His capstone project focused on using creativity and innovation solve a real-world problem that affects the community around USF, specifically the problem of underutilization of medical services by the community, by the community in an area that is more than able to provide adequate medical care to its citizens. Kristen's favorite honors experience was when community partners listened to his capstone presentation and told him that he had tackled the problem from an angle that they hadn't thought of before. Kristen will attend the USF Exercise Science Program and continue to play football. Congratulations, Kristen. Next is Kaylee Hernandez. <laughs> Kaylee's completing, it's a long walk, I know. <laughs> Kaylee's completing her undergraduate career with majors in anthropology and psychology. She completed an honors thesis in which she dealt with the topic of music for therapeutic purposes, specifically in relation to mental health. She observed a cultural arts program for at-risk youth at a local community center, and in addition analyzed former data collected at the center to evaluate the program's ethics. Her favorite honors memory is, she says, the opportunities she had to take some amazing and unique courses to like to do that. Moreover, she had the wonderful opportunity to live in the Honors LLC during her first year and to participate in the Judy Genshaft Honors College Choir during her senior year. Next, she plans to work as a registered behavior technician and complete her application for the Fulbright Scholars Program, and through which she hopes to attain master's degree at the University of London. Congratulations, Kate. <laughs> Next is May Horn. <laughs> May is receiving her degree in microbiology and public health with a minor in infection control. They completed an honors thesis in which she worked to determine if elements of urbanization can lead to a higher abundance fungal interventions, interactions, sorry, between root systems compared to soil from a natural environment. Her favorite honors memory is obtaining the Genshaft Greenbaum Global Explorers Award and traveling to Italy for a month with four of her peers to conduct a research project. After graduation, she'll enter graduate school at the University of Pittsburgh to obtain her PhD in infectious diseases and microbiology. Congratulations, thank you. Rhea Hussey is our next graduate. Rhea is graduating with a major in psychology and a minor in leadership studies. For her honors capstone, she filmed a documentary about the negative stereotypes surrounding fraternities and sororities. The proudest accomplishment, she says, was working with the Office of New Student Connections as a peer advisor leader. She helped new students acclimate to college life and help them navigate the difficulties that come along with that transition. Next, she'll be pursuing a master's degree in management at Georgetown University in DC. Congratulations, Ray. <laughs> Our next graduate is Abdullah Islam. <laughs> Abdullah is 
completing his degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in psychology. His capstone project focused on countries in transition from an authoritarian regime to democracy or from war to peace. That I mean, these countries often face difficult challenges to overcome past abuses of human rights. He performed research to find the most practical methods of transition to aid victims of such regimes. Adol's favorite honors college memory is, he says, his honors creative writing class in which he was able to experiment with creative writing in an environment that enhanced his appreciation for the art of writing. Abdullah plans to apply to medical school and to become a physician. Congratulations, Abdullah. Our next graduate is Junayed Jahangir. Jahangir. He's receiving his degree in finance and accounting. He completed an honors thesis in which he researched the root causes of parking problems on college campuses. <laughs> he developed a, an IoT, I had to look that up too, Internet of Things, and machine learning based parking solution which tracks parking vacancy on campus at all times and provides the nearest available parking locations to students. This research project was later selected by the USF incubators as a potential startup. His favorite honor's memory is being able to partner with renowned professor Brandon Gill in research an issue as relatable as college parking. He's currently working on making that concept, uh, developing it into a real product with the assistance of USF incubators. After graduating, he'll be working for one of the leading consulting firms in the world, Ernst & Young, and after working for a year or two, he says he plans to go back to school for a JD, MBA combined degree. Congratulations. Benjamin Krieger is next. <laughs> Benjamin is receiving his degree in computer science. His honors capstone research project analyzed institutional reform in Peru that occurred after decades of military and leadership conflict. The goal was to identify lessons learned and provide recommendations that align with the pillars of transitional justice. His favorite honors memory is studying abroad in Osterbrook. Germany beyond the classroom program. Benjamin plans to pursue a master's degree in computer science at USF. Congratulations, Benjamin. <laughs> the next graduate is Gargi Kulkarni. She's completing her degree in interactive, inter, sorry, integrative animal biology, the human tract, with a minor in psychology. For her honors capstone project, she worked with a classmate to expand access to reproductive health care resources for all communities. They implemented that idea by doing a podcast series and creating a brochure which contained information about reproductive health care resources for various populations at different levels. Her favorite honors memory was taking her capstone class with Dr. Holly Singh, I see her in the corner, and meeting people outside her major. Next, she'll be applying to medical schools as well as working full time as a scribe. Congratulations, Mark. <laughs> Next is Gabriel Luth. <laughs> his degree is in criminology and political science. For his capstone project, Gabriel and his partner did a deep dive into the history of Brindley Williams Engineering, a structuring, structural engineering firm based in Lakeland, Florida. In the process, they discovered a heartwarming story about finding your second chance in places you'd never expect, all of which were shared in a short film that they made. His favorite honors uh, memory he was studying abroad in London and taking um, a course with Professor Young. The course, he says, was interactive and thought-provoking, using the city as a venue for learning and entertainment. After graduating, he'll take a gap year to prepare for law school, and during this year, he plans to study for the LSAT, explore internship opportunities, and gain work experience. Congratulations, Gabriel. <laughs> Jack Luba is our next graduate. <laughs> He's graduating with majors in finance and in world cultures and, and languages with a concentration in Chinese. His capstone project explored the way in which the grain industry funded research to sway the American public into stigmatizing saturated fats. 
This led to the ubiquity of hydrogen, hydrogenic, hydrogenated vegetable oils in processed foods, which have contributed significantly to widespread metabolic deficiencies. This proud accomplishment was leading Delta Sigma Pi in creating a system of mentorship within the fraternity. After graduation, he'll be working in growth strategy management consulting for a boutique consulting practice in Chicago. Congratulations, Jack. graduate is Patrick Maggio. Patrick is receiving his degree in accounting uh, with business analytics and information systems. His honors capstone project discussed and analyzed current events related, relating to global and political issues, then reflected on how global events have influenced who he is as a person and how they might influence his future. His favorite honors memory is living in the honors LLC, living learning community, his first semester. He, there he met many people, including his roommate, Jack. Is that Jack? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next, he will intern at the EY audit practice in Tampa, and then return to USF to pursue a graduate degree. Congratulations, Patrick. <laughs> Next is Juliana Mengum. Biomedical Sciences with a minor in Public Health. For her capstone project, she analyzed the correlation between gender and the types of concerns employees reported in a multi-campus hospital system. Juliana's favorite honors memory, she says, is her experience on the Dominican Republic study abroad service learning trip. She'll be joining the Peace Corps to support local Peruvians in a health project aimed at lowering teenage pregnancy rates and malnutrition. In hopes to be a positive figure for the people that she works with. Congratulations to the <laughs> Next is Misha Mather. She's <laughs> a biomedical sciences major with a minor in public health. Her research project studied electric fields, also known as tumor treating fields, which can be sent into the body to make membranes of cancerous cells more permeable. This allows medication to directly target cancer cells without harming healthy cells. For this work, she was awarded the General Disciplinary Award at the One USF Undergraduate Research Conference. Misha's favorite honors memory is studying abroad in Florence with our Physician Observation Program, which gave her the opportunity to shadow uh, physicians, observe surgeries, and learn about the healthcare system in Italy. In the fall, she'll enter medical school at the Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine in Brady. Congratulations, Misha. Our next graduate is Ryan McCloskey. Ryan is graduating with a degree in biomedical science and psychology. Her honors research project explored how Alzheimer's disease and heart failure, two exponentially rising health concerns uh, for biological degeneration and loss of cognitive function, can be impacted by a change to a ketogenic diet, which can result in lower production of a detrimental protein in both diseases. Her favorite honored memory is traveling to the Dominican Republic with Dr. Davidson and Mr. Montrose. She assisted in the Corolla Initiative, a public health initiative with which the Honors College has partnered for several years, and explored the view of the DR. Next, she'll be applying to medical schools and looking for a medical assistant position. Congratulations, Ryan. Next is Jackson Miller. Jackson is a business management major. He completed a capstone project in which he produced a documentary on the hardships Asian students at USF experienced in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. His favorite honors memory is the Arab literature, culture, and film class. Um, he said learning about such a rich culture by experiencing Arab music, film, language, and food was both informative and fun. After graduation, we'll go to Japan for a mission trip for six weeks and then seek full-time employment following his return. Congratulations, Jackson. Our next graduate is Kaylin Mills. Kaylin's completed
completing her degree in health sciences and sociology with a minor in psychology. Her honors thesis examined patient intake forms for three specialties at USF Morsani Health, whose contents all structured the same patient portal, my chart. She evaluated differences in the demographic questions, um, health questions, and gendered language of the forms to determine their efficacy in addressing the health needs of transgender patients. Galen's favorite honors memory is her global perspectives on disability course with Dr. Mindy Davidson, in which she learned how, how the social experience of disability is distinct from physical impairment through research on Palestinian women's experiences with disability. Next, she plans to enter a doctoral program in occupational therapy. Congratulations, Kate. Our next graduate is Yelena Erosa Mayer. Yelena's degree is in integrated public relations and advertising with a minor in mass communications. Her honors capstone project was a study of the individuals helping to create the new honors college building on the campus from student and faculty input to the designer and builder teams. Yelena's proudest accomplishment at USF was completing her journey at the Honors College and receiving the Global Citizens Award. She's also appreciative of the opportunity of the financial assistance to study, to study abroad. She plans to work full-time and apply to graduate school. Congratulations, Yelena. Our next graduate is Madison Mua. Uh, graduating with a degree in public health and a minor in public service and leadership. She completed a capstone project in the USF in London program, during which she learned the importance of time and place within human experiences, using the city of London as the main setting for her exploration. Madison's favorite honors memory, she says, is the honors trip to London, which was her first time leaving the country and being away from her family. She next plans to attend graduate school to obtain her master's in public health with a concentration in health policy and programs. Eventually, she hopes to work on health policy initiatives at the federal level. Congratulations, Madison. <laughs> the next graduate is Meta Nita Martin. <laughs> Meta's degree is in biomedical sciences with minors in studio art and infection control. Her honors thesis explored behaviors around the use of face masks on major modes of public transportation in Milan, Bologna, Florence, and Rome. Good idea. <laughs> Made us favorite honors memory is living in the Honors LLC her freshman year. She says that she had the best time getting to know the people in her dorm and becoming close friends with many of them. She next plans to apply to medical school. Congratulations, Maya. Kai Noonan is our next graduate. They are receiving their degree in, with majors in biomedical sciences and psychology and a minor in Japanese. Their honors capstone project analyzed the parking crisis on the Tampa campus at multiple levels. To do this, their paper included the holistic examination of surface level parking issues, deeply embedded systemic issues that affect the university's sustainability efforts and the thought processes influencing individual transportation decisions. Kai's favorite honors memory is living in the honors LLC and bonding with fellow honors students. Next, Kai will be attending pharmacy school at the University of Florida. Congratulations, Kai. <laughs> Next is Grace Olson. Grace is graduating with a major in cell and molecular biology and a minor in psychology. Her capstone project focused on the Advanced Manufacturing and Robotics Center located near the Tampa campus. In her paper, she devised a solution to the challenge of increasing participation of children of low economic status in extracurricular activities in the Temple Terrace area. Grace's favorite honors experience, she says, is yet to come. She's going to South Korea with the Honors College very soon. After Korea, Grace will work as a biologist and go to graduate school to pursue a PhD in cell biology. Congratulations, Grace. <laughs> Our 
Our next graduate is Dan Amelia. Dan has degrees in biomedical sciences. For her honors project, she conducted an experiment exposing resonant cells to oxidizing agents and a dopamine drug to observe its protective effects. Her favorite honors memory was taking biomedical ethics, a class in which she spent each week talking about a different medical moral dilemma and how it can be handled. It gave her great insight and practice for the field that she hopes to be in one day. After graduating, she'll take a gap year to work as a medical assistant while applying to medical school. Congratulations, Mayor. Our next graduate is, is Ayush Patel. <laughs> Ayush is graduating with a major in cell and molecular biology and a minor in chemistry. His honors thesis explored the misuse of the techniques of organ transplantation and analyzed the motives that lead to such misuse. Ayush's proudest accomplishment at USF was being an emergency medical responder and being part of the USF medical dispatch team during Hurricane Ian. His team was deployed to Urban Technical College to help and support around 250 displaced patients. Ultimately, he plans to attend medical school, but before that, he'll travel the world. All right. <laughs> Francis Perez is our next graduate. She's receiving her degree in microbiology. She completed an honors capstone project that explored several current global topics and discussed their relevance to her own life. Her favorite honors memory is taking informative and interesting classes from her major, from her major and with great professors and peers. She's going to take the MCAT in September of 2023 and apply to medical school. Congratulations, Francis. <laughs> Next is Catherine Pfeiffer. <laughs> Katie, if I may, uh, is taking her major in environmental biology. She completed her honors capstone during the USF in London a summer program. Exeter. <laughs> Honors College University of Exeter semester program. Um, in it, she explored the medium of film to, to create a group documentary exploring the practice of wandering using concepts from her hermeneutic phenomenology, Henry David Thoreau's essay, Walking, personal insight gained from travel abroad, and group discourse. Katie's favorite honors memory was studying abroad with that honors semester in Exeter in the spring of 2022. She loved exploring England, sharing delicious food, and engaging in meaningful conversations with Dr. Young and the group. Next, she plans to take a gap year to work before applying to the Peace Corps and for a Fulbright grant to the University of British Columbia for her interdisciplinary master's program in food sustainability. Congratulations, Kate. <laughs> Next is Corbin Ping. Corbin's a biomedical engineering major. For his honors thesis, he demonstrated the improved resolution of neural action potential generation by microelectrodes under the effects of highly localized thermal energy fields generated by a modified metal, metal electrode pad called a microcoil. I'm not sure what I just read, but Corbin <laughs> said his favorite honors memory was having one more chance to be the class clown. <laughs> will be looking for an industry position at a biomedical engineering company and eventually go back to graduate school and pursue research. Congratulations. Dan. <laughs> Next graduate is Sri Charan Fusala. Biomedical sciences major, Suri Charan produced an honors thesis in which he evaluated the effectiveness of COVID-19 public health policies implemented in Italy to understand their influences on masking compliance. His favorite honors memory is conducting research in Italy for one month, formulating a thesis and presenting this work at international conferences thanks to support from the Honors College and the Ben Chef Greenbaum Global Explorers Award. Next, he'll be applying to medical schools and working full-time as a clinical research coordinator in academic medicine. Congratulations, Sri Chauhan. <laughs> Our 
Our next graduate is Sam Reachek. Sam Reachek. Sam is graduating with majors in philosophy and political science and with minors in economics and history. His honors thesis surveyed President Theodore Roosevelt's correspondence with his contemporaries regarding his judicial appointments. Doing so shed light on Roosevelt's constitutional vision and how it was implemented in his three appointments to the Supreme Court. Samuel State Sam, I can't say Sam. <laughs> Favorite honors memory is hosting a very cramped meeting of the First Amendment Forum, a nonpartisan civil discourse student organization on the Tampa campus in the Honors Lounge in early spring 2020, just before the pandemic began. Sam has been inducted into Phi Beta Kappa, uh, the nation's oldest and most distinguished academic honor society. He was also named, as I selected, as a 2021 recipient of the Phi Beta Kappa uh, Key into Public Service Award, a very competitive award. Only 20 students nationwide are granted uh, that award uh, by the Phi Beta Kappa organization, and Sam was one of them. Um, he's also the recipient of a Courageous Bull Award for his work with the First Amendment Forum, just mentioned, and other free speech initiatives on campus. And he is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. for and taking the LSAT for the goal of studying law school in the fall of 2024. Congratulations, Sam. <laughs> Our next graduate is Madeline Rice. <laughs> I'm receiving her degree in Humanities and Cultural Studies with minors in History and Literary Studies. For her honors capstone project, she created a website intended to strengthen general awareness of resources related to reproductive justice. Her favorite honors memory is her time working with the Judy Genchap Honors College Community Garden. She is also graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Madeline is seeking an internship or full-time employment in museum or archival work. After a few years, she says, and a better grasp of her career goals, she will go to graduate school for a master's degree. Congratulations, Madeline. <laughs> Next is Carlene Rivera. Carlene <laughs> completed her degree in biomedical sciences and psychology. For her Judy Genchap honors college thesis, she performed experiments and utilized geometric morphometrics to examine the key morphological features for identification between sexes, instars, and species of mosquito larvae. Carlene's favorite honors experience was her ability to participate in undergraduate research and pursue the development of her honors thesis while still having a presence in the community. I assume you mean still having a life. <laughs> uh, throughout her experience as an honors student, she has developed many relationships and alike, which have allowed her to grow both as a citizen and as a scientist. Carlene is also graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Carlene has to attend medical school and pursue a professional degree. Congratulations, Carlene. <laughs> Jasmine Robbins is our next graduate. Degree is in biomedical sciences with minors in psychology and women and gender studies. She participated in the honors capstone course focused on the new building and created the Canvas course for our incoming students that guide them, guides them through the um, honors college building. Her course was eventually adapted into a module within the honors foundations course, a freshman transition course, taught to first year honors college students. Her favorite honors memory is, she says, her time as a peer mentor lead teaching honors foundations for the honors college. Making an impact, she says, on such a large community while working with the best team of other student leaders is an experience that she will never forget. She'll be starting dental school at the end of July and eventually graduating with her DMD in 2027. Congratulations, Jacqueline. <laughs> Next graduate is Rachel Rosé. <laughs> 
Rachel's receiving her degree in business analytics and information systems with a concentration in cybersecurity and with minors in communications and professional and technical communication. The Capstone Project examined the period of transitional justice following the Liberian Civil Wars, analyzing the historical context of the wars and the criminal tribunals that followed, and the institutional reforms and remedies that the Liberian government put in place to restore national peace. Rachel's favorite honors memory is serving as an honors college peer mentor in the fall of 2020. Rachel is yet another of our King O'Neill scholars this morning, graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Next, she plans to then take a Master of Science degree in Business Analytics at the University of Edinburgh before pursuing a career in data science. Congratulations, Rachel. Mm -hmm. The next graduate is Kushi Satani. She is in psychology with a minor in entrepreneurship and innovation. Her research project collected data as to how much food is wasted in university dining halls. Based on her analysis of the collected data and additional literature review, she proposed a sustainable solution to the problem. Her favorite honors memory is her Geology of the National Parks course with Professor Judy McElroy. As part of the course, she was able to join an optional trip to Arizona and explore amazing geological features such as the Montezuma Castle National Monument, Grand Canyon, and more. She'll be uh, seeking full-time employment while applying to become a PhD candidate in industrial organizational psychology. Congratulations. Penelope Schweitzer is next. Penelope is finishing with majors in marketing and integrated public relations and advertising. Her research project focused on her experience with pivotal public events during her lifetime and how they impact the way she looks at the world. Her favorite honors memory is studying abroad with the Judy Genschap Honors College in Germany last May. She spent three weeks with fellow honors college students at the University of Holstenbrook. And during the program, the group visited a number of cities with a visit to the Berlin Wall to highlight. Penelope is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Next, she will complete her internship with Jabel this summer and hopes to find full-time employment in the Tampa area in the marketing and advertising communications field. Congratulations, Penelope. <laughs> Our next graduate is Feroza Shalash. She's receiving her degree in studio art. In her capstone course on the Connections Program at the Tampa Museum of Art, she explored the question, is there such a thing as an original thought based on a given definition of originality? She collected data by observing several groups during art discussions and conducting her own art discussions. Her favorite honors memory is interacting with groups of people with various health challenges in the art museum during her capstone project and seeing them get excited about activities and discussions about art. She'll be taking a gap year to take the MCAT and apply to medical schools while gaining experience in the healthcare field. Congratulations, Mr. Rosa. <laughs> next graduate is Novikos Skutelis. Tommy Cross is a public health major with minors in biology and infection control. His honors research project examined the challenges of vaccine distribution inequality and its impact on low-income countries and illustrated the potential future ramifications of continued unequal distribution of COVID-19 vaccines on the global population. Nomi Cross's favorite honors memory is being part of the community garden effort, as it was, he said, a highly rewarding experience. As someone he says who grew up tending a garden with his grandfather, it brought back not only wonderful memories, but gave him a sense of place. Overall, it was a great way to, to peacefully escape from the stresses of life and practice hands-on sustainability. Next year, he'll focus on his medical school applications and work as a medical scribe. Congratulations, Noni Cross. <laughs> Our next graduate is Zachary Slazak. Zachary 
graduating with majors in business analytics and information systems and finance. He completed two honors capstone research projects. The first involved an in-depth analysis of current events in the US and around the world, and the second was a hands-on consulting internship for a Mexican boutique, hotel, and eco-tour company. His proudest accomplishment at USF was his involvement in activities he was passionate about. This includes playing for the hockey team, joining a business fraternity, learning about the sports and entertainment industry, joining the business honors program, and holding several leadership positions. Zachary plans to work in the sports industry in the front, in front office roles. He also plans to travel extensively over the next couple of years. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Peyton Solarchick. Receiving his degree in biomedical sciences. Peyton's capstone course project provided consultation to the hotel company, just mentioned, the Hotel Del Pellegrino, to help improve their business status with increased revenue and profits and occupancy rates. His proudest accomplishment is leading the consulting team to provide recommendations to a real world, com real world company in order to improve their business. He'll be taking a growth year in order to gain further knowledge of the medical field through work with Scribe America. Following this, he plans to attend medical school. Congratulations, Peyton. <laughs> Amy Texter is our next graduate. <laughs> Amy is a psychology major with a minor in criminology. She's, she was also a member of the Honors Capstone course in Civic Literacy. And she says that she enjoyed, enjoyed being an investigative journalist for a short time. Amy's favorite honors memory is the classes she enrolled in during the pandemic. Despite the challenging circumstances, the professor successfully kept the classes engaged and connected, providing a much needed sense of community and support during a difficult time. She'll be taking a bridge year in which she will work as a research assistant. In this position, she hopes to hone the skills she will need to apply to a doctoral program in clinical child psychology. Congratulations, Amy. I love you. The next graduate is Corin Thomas. Corin is a cell and molecular biology major with a minor in chemistry. Her capstone project was a comparative study investigating the correlation between being or living with an immunocompromised individual and compliance with CDC recommended COVID-19 preventative guidelines. Her favorite honors class was taking Dr. Yee's class on interpreting Marvel's Avengers. She's been awarded a one-year fellowship at the University of Washington, during which she will apply to molecular biology graduate programs. Congratulations, Corey. Our next graduate is John Thomas. finishing his degree uh, in finance with an investment analysis concentration. He completed a research capstone in called Engineering a Second Chance, where he learned that life is about second chances, and sometimes it's impossible to see where life will take you. The story is about a small business that had unlikely beginnings, uh, which was founded and operating, operated by people who never saw his career coming. One of his proudest accomplishments, he says, is personal growth and development that he achieved under the guidance of Honors College uh, professor Dr. Lydia Asana, one of his first professors at USF. Through immersive learning experiences and exposure to diverse viewpoints, he has become a more well-rounded and globally-minded individual. He also enjoyed his time as a member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, the Delta Sigma Pi Professional Business Fraternity, and the Investment Club. After graduation, he plans to pursue a master's degree in finance. Congratulations, Sean. Next is Annabelle Torres. <laughs> Annabelle is completing her degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in psychology. Her favorite honors memory is studying with a few friends in the honors lounge before a final exam. They, we were all honors students working toward a common goal, and it was nice to be in such a supportive environment. 
She plans to take a gap year and gain as much experience as possible while she applies to medical school with the goal of becoming a physician. Congratulations, Annabelle. Final graduate, only alphabetically, in this ceremony is Jakai Wade. She is receiving her degree in anthropology. For her honors project, she partnered with the Contemporary Art Museum, our on campus USF museum, to create walking tours of the public art on campus. The proudest achievement at USF was successfully re establishing the Anthropology Club and being elected president. She'll take a gap year and apply to the Fulbright program for a research grant, as well as anthropology master's programs. Congratulations, to Now let's give them all a big round of applause. Just a moment 
release and um, say a special thanks to a couple of people who put this event together. Uh, Mr. Dana Taylor, our Director of Marketing and Communications. Diana uh, Cohen, I don't see her, but she's our Facilities and Special Events um, Coordinator as well. Thank you to both of you for putting this together. And I want to take a moment and thank the, um, you saw the, we heard the scripts and we saw the slides. A lot of work went into putting this together and all of it was done by student assistants, and I want to thank them by name, because I put a lot of work, a lot of work into this. Uh, thank you to Kristen D'Souza, uh, Amri Naveen, Maria Isaacs, Ari Arara, Riva, Riva Gandhi, and Alexis Agnew. Thank you to all of you. <laughs> now, what we're going to do, we're going to have a group picture. And we're going to, oh, first of all, don't forget to wear your medallions at graduation. Now we're going to have a group picture. What's going to happen is, if I can ask the audience to just remain seated for just a second, and let the students go up. If you use these side aisles and go out the two flanking doors, uh, go out by the fountain, get yourself organized. Once they're out the door, let's all go out and take, take lots and lots of pictures. Okay? Thank you very much. Go Bulls!
afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Great to have you here. I'm Charles Adams. I'm the Judy Ginshaft Endowed Honors Dean of the Judy Ginshaft Honors College. And it is a pleasure and a privilege to welcome you to the Spring 2023 celebration of our Honors graduates. Uh, we are indeed very, very proud of these uh, folks in front of the room. Uh, they have worked very hard for several years, and today and this whole weekend is a time for us all to, uh, to celebrate their accomplishments. I think it's worth keeping in mind as we uh, celebrate them today that they have gone above and beyond. Uh, we, we, you can graduate from USF without being in the Honors College and you can do all right. But these students have challenged themselves by agreeing to pursue our curriculum, to meet the various um, obligations that we ask of them, and uh, have done so um, with, with, uh, with great results. And so that characteristic of being willing to push themselves and go beyond what's absolutely required and um, take on additional challenges um, is, is a characteristic that I think is going to be very, very helpful to them um, in, their, in their lives. It's going to make the difference in um, many cases between uh, success and, and something less than, than full success. So I'm very excited to see what they all do. We all are, and um, today we're gonna spend some time learning about what they've been doing and what they're planning to do going forward. Uh, this group, uh, of course, we're, we're very proud of all of our honors graduates every year. But this group and a couple of others, uh, of course, face some unusual challenges that we all know something about. Uh, the pandemic occurred after they uh, came to USF. And uh, they face challenges unlike very many that uh, college students face. Uh, they persevered and they succeeded. And I think that's a, that's a terrific credit to them. And uh, I hope that, what I always tell students is I, I, it was all bad. Uh, but, but I hope that, um, that you've learned something uh, from it and you can take some lessons from that, that experience of COVID-19 and apply those lessons as, as you go forward. That's the best way to make something of a bad experience. And I know that these students are the type of people uh, who will do exactly that. Uh, before we get started um, with our recognition of our graduates, I do want to thank a couple of groups uh, who are with us today. And the first group is you all um, sitting, in the, sitting in the audience. Uh, the friends and family supporters of all sorts of these graduates up in front of us here today. Uh, my wife and I put a couple of girls through college a long time ago, and so I know something about what it takes, the village it takes, um, to get uh, students at this point, the support that's required, the uh, taking those late night phone calls, um, applying a little bit of uh, transfusion of cash here and there if necessary, um, help them out in all kinds of ways, both tangible and intangible, and just being there uh, for them. So, I invite you to give yourselves and the students, and I invite the students to give you all a good round of applause. And the the and the second group that I want to acknowledge is uh, the Honors College faculty advisors and professional staff. This is a group of people that uh, I'm privileged to work with every day. Uh, they're extraordinary people. They care deeply about uh, the success of these students. Uh, they work very hard on behalf of, behalf of these students. And I suspect that um, many of you have heard one or more, probably more, names of the um, Honors College uh, faculty advisors or professional staff who have been, have been a difference maker uh, for your student. And so I ask you to please um, show them around, give them a round of applause. And, and Now, let me explain how we're going, what we're going to be doing today. Um, there is a process. I'm going to call up the students one by one, alphabetically, and uh, they will receive a medallion, uh, these beautiful gold medallions to signify the completion of the honors uh, curriculum in the Judy Genshack Honors College. And I invite you all, by the way, to wear these medallions at graduation if, you, um, if, you, if you're attending university graduation, and when you do that big gold medallion, beautiful thing, will distinguish you from a sea of green you know, that I will see um, out there or coming across the stage and will give you a chance to offer you a special congratulations um, at the uh, the England Center. Um, they'll get their medallion and then I'm gonna read a short bio of each, uh, each student. Uh, I wish I could say that I know all 2,500 of our students well enough to do so without notes, uh, but what I'm going to be using um, is the, the text that's the result of a questionnaire that the students completed. Uh, they were asked to uh, give us their major and minor, and a double major, whatever. Uh, tell us um, uh, what, a little bit about their research program. They, they either took a capstone course, which typically is a group um, research project, or they did a, an individual honors thesis. Uh, tell us what their favorite memory of the Honors College is, and perhaps um, 
their proudest accomplishment at USF, and then tell us something about what they plan to do next. And so the uh, texts that I'll be reading are uh, all, that, all this material is drawn uh, from those, those questionnaires. I invite you to cheer and when your student comes, his, his or her name is called. Um, this is, uh, we're not too stuffy here. Uh, don't be afraid to cheer. Or don't be afraid to get up and take pictures. Uh, that's what we're all about here. That's one of the nice things about this graduation ceremony, as opposed to the also wonderful but different uh, university, um, all, all, all university commencement. It's difficult to you know, race up and take a picture um, in that one. Uh, so please uh, feel free to uh, celebrate uh, with, your, with your students. Uh, they're going to call out a couple of um, uh, distinctions. One is uh, we have some students who are graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA, and those students uh, will graduate as King O'Neill Scholars, and I'll name those students as they come, come to the front of the room. We also have um, student two in this ceremony uh, who is receiving a, a Dean's Circle of Merit Award. Uh, this is an award that we give in four categories, research, service, leadership, and global citizenship. Uh, these student, the students who win these awards are nominated you know, by, their, by, their, by their professional staff, the faculty and advisors of the Honors College. They're reviewed by a selection committee and they are awarded um, the Dean's Circle of Merit. So I'll be handing out those as we go as well. And with all that said, with all that preface, it's time to turn to the um, exciting order of business uh, today, and that is the recognition of our students. So we'll begin. Our first student, our first graduate, is Tahir. Abbas. He has received a degree in finance and quantitative economics with a minor in business analytics information systems. He completed an honors research capstone course entitled a Civic Liter in Civic Literacy, in which he explored how his personal experiences and world events shaped him into who he is today. His favorite honors uh, memory is his service trip to Puerto Rico to the Honors Living Learning Community, the LLC. He, uh, they did some volunteering in the El Bunque National Forest, and he, was, he got to be part of Puerto Rico's rich culture uh, for a time, and this was a unfor an unforgettable experience for him. Tahir is the first of our King O'Neill scholars in the ceremony, graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Uh, Tahir plans to work for a financial institution as a business or financial analyst for a couple of years before applying to an MBA program. Congratulations, Tahir. Our next graduate is Imam Abu Qadir. Iman is completing her degree with a major in computer science. That's a good place for you, there. Uh, with a minor in German language and culture. Her capstone research project explored the relationships along time, perception, memory, sensation, desire, and satisfaction by studying the philosophies of various phenomenological thinkers like Kierkegaard, Epicurus, and Seneca, as well as using contemporary psychological research material. Her favorite memory is late nights uh, studying with her friends and going to events hosted by engineering clubs at the Fish Bowl or the Hall of Flags in the Engineering 2 building. She plans, after graduation, to get a job, make lots of money, and, and travel the world with her family. All worthy images. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is Dana Ahmad. Dana is graduating as a finance major. She completed a Judy Genshap Honors College thesis that explored the strengths and the weaknesses of the Jordanian economy. Her favorite honors experience was exploring the Florida Keys during the spring 2023 Florida Keys Global Experience trip. After graduating, Dana will begin her career as a financial analyst. Congratulations, Dana. Ashlyn Bartley is our next graduate. <laughs> Ashlyn is a chemistry major with a minor in deaf studies. Her honors capstone course was titled Writing Craft, Telling Your Story. Here she learned how to use critiques and discussions to better her writing skills and how to give proper critiques to others. 
Her favorite honors memory is going abroad on the honors Germany trip. She especially, she says, appreciated the class prior to departure that helped her appreciate where she was going and what she would experience. Ashley plans to pursue a master's degree in forensic science. Congratulations, Ashley. Exploring Behind the Veil, the new Honors College building with Professor Sakai, in which she studied the design elements of the new Honors College building, which sits over on Ginshaft uh, Drive next to the Yingling Center, which will open next week. Um, she analyzed the design elements of that building and analyzed how humans experience spaces and the effects of surroundings on their well-being. Her proudest honors accomplishment was preparing for and studying abroad for four months at Kansai Gaidai University in Osaka, Japan. There she completed certifications in Japanese, visualization and design, and business and art. Kelsey will be applying for artistic residencies and graduate programs in the U.S. and Japan. Congratulations, Kelsey. <laughs> Our next graduate is Anna Bingley. Anna's completing her degree in Communication Sciences and Disorders. Her research capstone course was completed as part of the USF in London program. She used that city and its history, parks, and museums as her classroom. Through introspection, discussion, and engagement, she evaluated how we experience our experience and how best to articulate those experiences. Her proudest accomplishment was her involvement through volunteering in outreach services in Rotaract and in speech and language clubs as a member of the National speech, Student Speech Language Hearing Association. And will be continuing her education at the University of South Florida, working toward a Master of Science degree in speech language pathology. Congratulations, Anna. <laughs> Next is Mustafa Blossom. Of biomedical sciences and political science double major. For his honors research capstone, he investigated muscular skeletal injuries and wellness in the performing arts population. Mustafa's proudest accomplishment, he says, was establishing the first chapter of the Egyptian student organization at USF. After graduating, after graduating he will enter the Washington University School of Law with a goal of specializing in patent litigation and medical malpractice. Congratulations, Mustafa. <laughs> Daniel Bowling is our next graduate. <laughs> There's a height issue here. Right? <laughs> Danielle's receiving her degree in public health. Her Judy Genchak Honors College thesis investigated stiff person syndrome a rare degenerative condition with limited treatments and no cure. In her thesis, she explored the quality of life, disease progression, and treatment efficacy of intravenous ketamine when conventional treatment begins to fail. Danielle's proudest accomplishment was the success of TJ, a UNF student she mentored in her third year at the College of Behavioral and Community Sciences. Next, Danielle will attend the University of Central Florida's College of Medicine. Congratulations, Danielle. <laughs> Next is Alex Borden. <laughs> Alex is graduating with a degree in history and minors in creative writing and religious studies. For his honors capstone project, Alex wrote short fiction pieces and workshopped them throughout the semester. He says his proudest accomplishment at USF was becoming a peer mentor last fall. Uh, peer mentors are upperclassmen who teach our honors foundation course, which is our college transition course for first year students. Uh, he says the teachings of Honors Foundation has opened his eyes on how to be a true leader. Alex plans to work full-time for a year to save money before going to grad school and pursuing work in museum management. Congratulations, Alex. <laughs> Our next graduate is Anisha 
Peace. She is receiving a BS in Biomedical Sciences and a BA in Sociology. The capstone project investigated the oral history of the new Judy Genshap Honors College building. By assessing the collected accounts of numerous contributors to the project, she was able to develop an educational and emotional understanding of the building and what went on behind the scenes, behind the scenes in the planning and construction of a major building. She is graduating as a King of the Old Scholar with a perfect 4.0. And she says that her proudest accomplishment is maintaining that GPA <laughs> while, while challenging herself through new experiences like studying abroad, holding campus-wide exam reviews, and conducting research. She plans next to take the MCAT in July before pursuing a Master of Science in pharma Pharmaceutical Nanotechnology, uh, during which she will actively volunteer, shadow, and conduct research. After this one-year program, she will apply to medical school. Congratulations, on the Our next graduate is Daniel Ch Chait. <laughs> Daniel's degree is in biochemistry with a minor in psychology. His honors capstone project was a visual narrative about the Road Rack Club at USF. His favorite honors memory is living in Juniper Poplar in the living learning community where he says he met the friends of a lifetime. Daniel will be um, attending Brown University to a master's degree in biotechnology. Congratulations, Daniel. <laughs> Next graduate is Anusha Chandra Shakar. <laughs> Anusha is graduating with a degree in health science. For her capstone project, she applied her video skills to create a documentary on the stereotypes of college fraternities and sororities. The documentary aimed to provide a change in perspective by depicting the history, purpose, and the real value of joining these organizations in college. Her proudest accomplishment was being a research assistant for a year under a faculty member and getting published in the journal as the co-author of two research articles. She plans to pursue a master's degree in epidemiology with a concentration in biostatistics and bioscience at Columbia University. Congratulations, Anusha. Our next graduate is Chinari Charles O'Keefe. Capstone project focused on the issue of healthcare in the performing arts. Her study analyzed both the physical and mental health of various performers and how their specific art may affect their health. Her proudest accomplishment, she says, was learning how to live a healthier life, both physically and mentally, and learning to incorporate fitness into her life. She's proud of the relationships she's fostered at USF. She will be seeking a full-time job as a biomedical engineer. Anybody's hiring? Um, eventually, she plans to obtain a master's degree in engineering management. Congratulations to you. <laughs> Our next graduate is Jonathan Chavez. Jonathan Chavez was a double major in political science and economics. His capstone project was a reflection on how major events and news impacted him as he was growing up in terms of his personal connections and how hearing about them shaped him as a person. His proudest accomplishment at USF was becoming one of the primary authors of a student government resolution defending the privacy rights of transgender students on campus. Jonathan will be seeking full-time work in local political or economic fields. He intends to spend the next few years preparing himself financially while making connections to fulfill his dream to run for the House of Representatives by the age of 25. Congratulations, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Our next graduate is Harris Chowdhury. <laughs> For his Judy Gunchap Honors College thesis, a group of mice with Alzheimer's disease were injected with an organism that increased the expression of a gene implicated in neurodevelopmental disorders. 
He then examined the effects of the increased expression of the gene on the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Harris's favorite honor is memory is completing his volunteer hours at Advent Health in Tampa, where he was able to contribute to the fight against COVID-19 by helping with the drive-through testing. Harris is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0. More good news, Harris will be attending the Morsani College of Medicine here at USF. Our next graduate is Connor Cleveland. Connor is graduating with double majors in cellular and microbiology and psychology. He writes that his honors capstone project undertaken in the civic literacy course encouraged him to become a more active U.S. citizen by becoming engaged with ongoing and current events. His favorite honors memory is volunteering in the Dominican Republic as part of the Corral Parole Initiative, a public health initiative that we've been partnering with for several years. Uh, he helped set up and run pop-up clinics in impoverished areas. Honor plans to pursue graduate education in medical sciences and molecular biology. Congratulations. Paul Cooper is next. <laughs> Maxwell's degree is in accounting. His proudest accomplishment at USF was being a member of the USF cross country and track team, as well as winning USF Hustles and Entrepreneurship Program. Maxwell plans on moving back to central London and continue his entrepreneurship journey. Congratulations, Maxwell. Our next graduate is Veronica Dahlman. <laughs> Veronica is graduating with a biomedical sciences degree and a minor in psychology. Her favorite honors memory is her capstone course, as it helped her publish her second poster titled Resolved or Unsolved Healthcare Worker Concerns Across Hospital Campuses at the USF Undergraduate Research Conference. She investigated whether healthcare worker concerns across campuses um, and, and in order to ensure a positive environment uh, for the maintenance of healthcare professionals. Veronica is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0. <laughs> Our Veronica will also enter the USF Health Morsani College of Medicine. <laughs> next graduate is Andrea Dahr. completing a degree in nursing with a minor in public health. Andrea's proudest accomplishment at USF was when she was accepted into the upper division program at USF's nursing school. After acceptance, she began her journey as a nurse, and two years later, she says that she has learned more than she ever thought she would, and feels prepared for whatever comes after graduation. Andrea plans on studying for the National Council Licensure Examination, passing the test, and applying for jobs in hospitals around Tampa. Congratulations, Andrea. Next graduate is Stephanie DeVlieger. Yeah. They are receiving their degree in psychology with minors in political science and global education. Stephanie's proudest accomplishment at USF was pushing for the shift to using multicultural education and social justice education pedagogy within the peer mentorship program to provide peer mentors with the tools they need to assist all their students, as well as to ensure that Honors Foundations explain Honors Foundation is a place where students will find genuinely useful information for the rest of their college career. I am pleased to announce that Stephanie is the recipient of the Dean's Circle of Merit for Leadership. The selection committee had this to say about Stephanie, but we'll cheer just a minute. <laughs> Stephanie reshaped the Honors Foundation's curriculum to enhance student learning outcomes. Stephanie empowered first-year honors students to maximize their opportunities at USF and gave them the tools to be successful college students while also serving as a mentor to other Honors Foundation's peer mentors to ensure their success as teachers and leaders. Congratulations, Stephanie.
Our next graduate is David Dietz. David's graduating with majors in biomedical sciences and psychology with a minor in biomedical physics. His capstone project was titled Afterlife in the Ancient World, in which he examined various beliefs regarding the afterlife from various ancient cultures. David's fondest uh, honors memory is taking a diverse range of classes, he says, because they helped him expand his horizons. Last week, David was initiated into Phi Beta Kappa, the nation's oldest and most distinguished academic honor society. David plans to take a growth year, during which, during which he will apply to medical school. Congratulations, David. Our next graduate is Mindy Doe. receiving her degree in health sciences. Uh, she participated in the honors capstone course focused on the Connections program, a partnership with the Tampa Museum of Art. Uh, she and her research group analyzed the characteristics of a good mission statement and applied them in crafting a mission statement for the Connections program. The proudest accomplishment at USF was serving on the Thirst Project, USF's executive board. She helped further the club's presence in the USF community and its mission to raise awareness about the global water crisis. Mindy plans to work as a rehabilitation aide before applying to occupational therapy schools. Congratulations, Mindy. <laughs> Next is Sophie Dauphinese. Her degree is in public health with minors in psychology and community engaged homeland security and emergency management. Her research project focused on evaluating the effectiveness of sexual violence prevention efforts in universities across Florida, particularly comparing the effectiveness of public versus private universities in this regard. Research shows, she writes, that schools are not doing everything that could be done in terms of sexual violence prevention, and they're contributing to an environment where sexual violence remains an under-acknowledged problem. Sophie's favorite honors memory is studying abroad at the University of Copenhagen. Not only did she learn more about being a global citizen, but she made some strong and memorable connections. She plans to attend graduate school studying public health with a concentration in global health. Afterwards, she says she would really love to work in a global health context and possibly join the Peace Corps before pursuing a PhD. Congratulations, Sophia. <laughs> Wyatt Earhart is our next resident. receiving his degree in industrial engineering. This capstone project focused on healthcare access for people in lower income uh, communities and resources for caregivers of uh, indigent patients. My team spent numerous hours interviewing Tampa residents and compiling data to present to local nonprofit organizations that have the resources to assist the less fortunate. My favorite honored memory is getting the opportunity to collaborate with his peers to conduct research that was directly applicable to the community and made an impact on people's lives. Next why we'll enter USF Tampa's uh, in Tampa Masters in Engineering Management Program. Congratulations, Wyatt. The next president is Emily Fender. Woo! Emily is graduating with a double major in community Communication Sciences and Disorders with a concentration in Language, Speech, and Hearing, and in World Languages and Cultures with a concentration in Applied Linguistics, plus a minor in Psychology. Her honors research capstone uh, group explored justice efforts following the Armenian Genocide. She specifically investigated reparations that have occurred in ways that justice is still, uh, being, must still be served. Emily's favorite honors memory is her time working in the Honors College. She is indeed a familiar face around the Honors College. Allowed her, she says, to dive into the community while giving her a home with USF. From the close friends she made, the mentorship she received, and the experiences she gained, nothing has helped her grow more. Next, Emily will pursue a master's in speech language pathology from the University of Florida. Congratulations, Emily. Our next graduate is Grace Flogger.
Corporation is completing a degree in marketing with a, with a concentration in sport and entertainment management, along with a management major with a concentration in project management. For her honors research, she collaborated with the Tampa Bay Birth Network to create marketing and social media materials to spread awareness about reproductive health. Some of the topics researched included reproductive rights, maternal health, pediatrics, and neonatal care. She says her greatest accomplishment at USF was completing an internship in the marketing department at USF Athletics. She made it her goal to step outside her comfort zone by making new professional connections and exploring leadership roles. Next, she plans to enter the Bennett Sport and Entertainment Management Program at USF. Her professional goals after graduate school uh, include working as a marketing coordinator for a professional or collegiate sports team. Congratulations, Grace. Next is Angelica Kilmartin. Angelica is a biomedical sciences major. She completed a capstone in digital video production in which she extensively explored, explored cinematography and filmmaking. Angelica plans to take a growth year to develop the research skills before applying to graduate school. Congratulations, Angelica. Her next graduate is Shravani Gopalini. She's graduating with majors in biomedical sciences and psychology. For her capstone project, she explored her journey as an immigrant to the United States and the struggles that her family faced in obtaining their permanent residency. Highlighted, she says, the daily hurdles and sacrifices that immigrant families make to achieve the coveted American dream. Shravani's favorite honors memory is living in the honors LLC during her freshman year. Now, uh, experience that provided her with some of her closest friends. She plans to attend medical school to pursue her dream of becoming an OBGYN physician and to provide equitable and comprehensive reproductive care for all of her patients. Congratulations, Shravani. Next is Amanda Higley. Amanda is receiving her degree in elementary education with minors in deaf studies and psychology. Capstone Project was a documentary about Kappa Kappa Psi, the National Honorary Band Fraternity, finding creative ways to continue serving the USF bands among, among, among the mid and global pandemic. The documentary explores the impact of a pandemic on our community. It focuses on the optimism and resilience demonstrated through, through the services rendered by the fraternity. Her favorite honors memory is the connections she made in the honors living learning community. The support and engagement in campus life and the Chugan Honors College, she says, offered, offered opportunities for growth throughout her USF experience. Amanda is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Next, Amanda will be pursuing a Master of Education degree in the Psychology of Education at the University of Manchester in the United Kingdom. Congratulations, Amanda. <laughs> Rena Howard is next. <laughs> Rena is finishing a degree in Biomedical Sciences with a minor in Public Health. Her capstone research project was an investigation and statistical analysis of the most common employee complaints within the nursing department of a multi-hospital system in the U.S. Rita's proudest accomplishments were serving as cultural co-chair for Asian Students in America in 2020 and 2021, and presenting twice at the USF Undergraduate Research Conference. After graduation, Rita would like to work full-time in a hospital as a laboratory or clerical staff, and ultimately will apply to Physician's Assistant School. Congratulations, Rena. The next graduate is Macy Wynn. She's graduating with majors in biomedical sciences and psychology. She was also part of the capstone group that analyzed hospital data in order to categorize concerns from the nursing department. Her favorite honors memory is going on the Dominican Republic study abroad trip and working with the Corolla Initiative 
where she met, she says, many great people and bonded with her fellow Bonner students. She plans to take a growth year to gain more work experience and mature as a well-rounded individual. Congratulations, Macy. <laughs> Next is Benjamin Kales. Benjamin completed his degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in biomedical engineering and entrepreneurship. His research capstone examined the system used in hip replacements and focused on issues of patient safety and regulatory responsibility. The research explored how the 510K exception allowed the product to be commercialized and used on patients without proper oversight and highlights the ethical and leadership challenges associated with medical device regulation and safety. His favorite honors uh, McMemory is studying in London, including immersing himself in a new city and culture, achieving a personal best in the London 10K, and gaining valuable insights about himself and his values. Benjamin is a 2022 inductee in Phi Beta Kappa. He'll be working in a medical engineering lab while also interning at a biotech startup, Asante Bio, uh, to further develop his interests in biomedical engineering and entrepreneurship. He'll also be taking the MCAT in order to prepare himself become either an MD or a PhD student in orthopedics. Congratulations, Benjamin. <laughs> Our next graduate is Anna Corey. <laughs> Anna is receiving her degree in English and Literary Studies with a minor in Classics. She wrote an honors thesis in which she observed writing consultants in the USF writing studio in order to conclude what tutoring strategies were used the most frequently in order to engage students in the session, in the session most successfully. Her proudest accomplishment, she says, was being an editor at Thread Magazine, USF's undergraduate literary magazine, since she was a freshman and she is finishing her senior year, and I'm going to start dancing this, <laughs> finishing her senior year as co-editor in chief. Next, she will enter USF's graduate rhetoric and composition program and select a research focus in order to pursue a PhD. Congratulations, Anna. <laughs> David Kim is our next graduate. His degree is in cell and molecular biology. He participated in the capstone course in performing arts healthcare, in which he learned how to identify occupational risks affecting performing artists, in addition to learning the values, culture, and health concerns among that population. His favorite honors memory is the time spent in classes, as he has been able to meet many individuals whom he could learn from. These individuals helped shape his perspective and challenge him to think critically in ways he never could before. His plan now is to find out what his true calling in life is. <laughs> Congratulations, Dave. <laughs> Next is Jenna Kleefish. Jenna's graduating as a finance major. She participated in the building, in which she tracked the construction of the building and researched the processes behind the design, as well as the construction and engineering methods. Her proudest accomplishment at USF has been balancing her academics with her involvement in the community. She says that being able to balance her academics, professional development, and social life has made her college experience very fulfilling. She then plans next to seek full-time employment in a finance position. Congratulations, John. Tatum Knowles is our next graduate. Tatum is completing her degree in mechanical engineering. Her capstone project was a case study in the gender, wage, and wealth gap, in which she sought to understand why women are still experiencing, experiencing inequitable pay even after the Lily Ledbetter Act passed in 2009. Tatum's favorite honors memory is her honors service trip to Puerto Rico during spring break of 2022, where she stood under a waterfall after digging trenches in the warm rainforest. That sounds good, but the first part anyway, the one. <laughs> after graduating, she'll work at Polypack in St. Petersburg as a mechanical engineer, where she will design plastic shrink wrap machines. She also plans to travel and spend time with her family. Congratulations, Katie.
Next is Catherine Foster. She's receiving her degree in health sciences with a minor in psychology. For her research, research capstone, she worked with the Advanced Manufacturing and Robotics Center's Fab Lab, located in the University Mall right next to the Tampa campus. The Fab Lab is suffering from low local participation from elementary and middle school students, so her team reached out to many local parents, schools, and organizations to develop a plan to increase mentorship in older students and engagement among younger ones. Her favorite honors memory is being part of the Judy Gantt Honors College Community Garden and developing her own plot to grow food for the local community. She even had an opportunity to, do to donate her vegetables to the campus food pantry. Catherine is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0. She'll be attending graduate school to pursue her goal of becoming an occupational therapist. Congratulations, Catherine. Our next graduate is Artis Rikitarampan. <laughs> His degree is in cell and molecular biology. He also participated in the capstone course regarding the new building, focusing on elements such as architecture, nature and sustainability, environmental psychology, and disability and accessibility. His favorite memory, Honors Memory, is living in the Honors Living Learning Community. He plans to apply to optometry school and become an optometrist. Congratulations, Marcus. <laughs> Our next graduate is Jasmine Mann. <laughs> Jasmine is graduating as a theater major with a minor in philosophy. In a capstone course on visual narratives, she analyzed how entertainment like theater can discuss and talk about sensitive subjects like race and create an open dialogue. Her proudest accomplishment at USF, she says, was collaborating with a senior dance major to create a spoken word movement piece for her senior project that connected the majors of dance and theater in a way that hadn't been done before. She has been planning to take a growth year to find her own path in the entertainment industry and to study for the LSAT to possibly become a lawyer. Congratulations, Jasmine. The next graduate is Gail Matris. She's continuing her degree with a major in psychology. She also participated in the capstone course on the Connect on, in the Connections program, in which she learned how to conduct tours of the Tampa Museum of Art Collections for underserved populations in the Tampa Bay area, with a special focus on formerly incarcerated individuals. Her favorite honors memory is her weekly trips to the Tampa Museum of Art for an entire semester part of the capstone course. She says she made met some amazing people and had a wonderful, supportive professor. Gail plans to take a growth year and look for a job related to a psychology major while working at a previous job in Illinois. Congratulations, Gail. <laughs> Our next graduate is Tyler McClellan. Tylen's favorite honors memory is her experience of being a peer mentor and teaching the Honors Foundation course, our transition course uh, for freshman honor students. She has begun working full time at Honeywell Aerospace and Defense in Clearwater, Florida, as a program controls analyst. Congratulations, Tylen. <laughs> Next is Mary Pugh. Maid is graduating with majors in behavioral health care and psychology. For her capstone creativity project, she worked with the Little St. Nick Foundation to explore methods of securing sustainable sources of funding and partnerships within the Tampa Bay community to spread joy and comfort to children in local hospitals. Her favorite memory is being a part of the Honors Living Learning Community uh, freshman year, uh, where she made lifelong friends. After graduation, May will work as a registered behavior technician while pursuing a master's in applied behavior analysis with the goal of becoming a board certified behavior analyst. Congratulations, Mary.
Then uh, Daniel McNamara. Uh, <laughs> Daniel's graduating with a major in mechanical engineering, a minor in mathematics. He, Daniel also participated in the capstone course about the new honors building, in which he helped record the story of the building during the, the, the construction process through the fall of 2022 by interviewing dozens of professionals involved in the project and capturing their unique perspectives. Daniel's favorite memory is living in the Honors Living Learning Community freshman year and meeting some of his best friends. His next step is to pursue a master's degree in aerospace engineering and sciences. Congratulations, Daniel. <laughs> next is John Meeks. graduating with a degree in general mathematics and computer science. He participated in the writing craft on his capstone course, in which he learned various techniques for how to effectively craft a short story. Throughout the class, he read a variety of different styles of writing and analyzed them to understand what did and did not work. Additionally, at two points in the semester, he submitted completed short stories and had them analyzed and critiqued by the class. His proudest accomplishments were both being inducted into Phi Beta Kappa his junior year and graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect <laughs> Next, he'll be looking for a job in the software engineering field. Congratulations, John. <laughs> Next is Pavi Mulji. Sciences with two minors in psychology and public health. She participated in the capstone course on reproductive rights, in which she and her group mate demonstrated the importance of reproductive equity through a variety of media, mainly through the use of the TikTok platform while it was still being. Bobby's favorite honors memory is the vast array of honors top courses that supplemented her undergraduate experience. She says that some of her most valuable experiences at USF were being able to connect one on one with honors professors and advisors ultimately guided her towards wanting to pursue a career in medicine. Bobby does, in fact, plan to attend medical school. Congratulations, Bobby. <laughs> Next graduate is Lauren Muma. <laughs> Lauren's graduating with a degree in electrical engineering. For honors creativity capstone, she researched the barriers to health care for people living in Tampa, as well as the role family and caregivers play in the health care of others. Lauren's proudest accomplishment is being the vice chair of the Electrical Engineering Student Organization, IEEE. By holding this position, she was able to plan multiple events that allowed students, professors, and other industry professionals to network and share knowledge with one another. She'll be starting a full-time position at Lockheed Martin in their space department, focusing on 5G implementation. Congratulations, Lauren. <laughs> Our next graduate is Grayson Nobles. <laughs> they are receiving a degree in psychology with a minor in behavioral health care. They participated in the Honors Capstone course on transitional justice, in which they analyzed and applied transitional justice concepts to the U.S. war on drugs. Grace's favorite memory is their time in the Florida Cultures class. Uh, they were given so many opportunities to express their creative side and really enjoy that learning style. Next, they plan to seek full-time employment and eventually pursue a master's in social work. Congratulations, Grace. The next graduate is Andrea Oropesa. <laughs> Andrea is completing her degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in public health. Uh, she participated in the Honors Capstone course focused on the new building and designed a program to help people understand the meaning behind the Honors College and its new home. Andrea's favorite memory was being able to attend the study abroad trip partnered with the Parole Initiative in the Dominican Republic, in which she was able to provide free medical care to many impoverished communities in that country. Her plan is to attend medical school and become a physician. 
Congratulations on that. Next is Vishesh Patel. He's receiving his degree in biomedical sciences. Vishesh completed an honors capstone course in visual narratives, in which he developed techniques of filming and documentary creation, including pre-production, recording, and editing. His proudest accomplishment, he says, was receiving an A minus in organic chemistry while also taking physics. <laughs> 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 After graduation, he will complete a one-year master's program at Lake Erie College of Medicine and then attend their medical school. Congratulations. Next is Vishesh Patel. Sarah Paul is our next graduate. She is graduating with concurrent degrees in biomedical sciences and public health with a minor in nutrition. She completed a capstone course titled Reimagining Black Life in America, in which she completed a research project that focused on updating W.E.B. Du Bois' data portraits from the turn of the 20th century to meet today's circumstances of black life in America. Sarah's proudest accomplishment was being the first in her family to graduate with concurrent majors. Next, she will apply to medical school with the goal of matriculating in the summer of 2025. Congratulations, Sarah. They completed an honors research project that explored how digital marketing for educational institutions, such as museums and universities, are shifting to social media to improve their engagement levels. The, the research was also a proposal for the Tampa Museum of Art to get a TikTok account in order to improve visitation rates for young adults and help them better understand mental health programs the museum offers to vulnerable individuals. Brooks' favorite honors memory is their trip to Arizona with the honors class on the geology of national parks. Hiking in the Grand Canyon after a snowfall, doing a plank on top of petrified wood. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just reading it. And, and, and seeing purple flowers bloom across hills of cacti was something they will never forget. And it's further cemented their love for nature and hiking. Brooke plans to apply to law school at the University of North Carolina with the goal of becoming a lawyer dedicated to either animal or envir environmental rights. Congratulations, Laura. <laughs> Our next graduate is Teresa Pham. <laughs> Teresa is receiving her degree in psychology with a minor in professional and technical communication. Her psychology department a thesis explored whether there was a relationship between adults' romantic attachment styles and how they impact a self-image as reflected in disordered eating behaviors such as binge eating or targeted eating. Her favorite honors memory is traveling to the Dominican Republic in the fall of 2022 on a service trip with Dr. Davidson. Teresa is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> plans to pursue a master's degree in the Psychological Sciences program at the USF St. Petersburg campus to build her research experience and prepare for more advanced study. She plans eventually to apply to a Cognitive Development PhD program. Congratulations, Teresa. <laughs> the next graduate is Sarah Phillips. double major in biomedical science and criminology. The capstone project will be undertaken in Italy in connection with our physician observation program in Florence. Uh, there she will attend surgeries and prepare the healthcare systems in the two countries while becoming immersed in Italian culture and maybe having a meal or two already. <laughs> Sarah's proudest accomplishment at USF was accepting the vice president position in her sorority and starting a volunteer position at Advent Health during the COVID-19 pandemic. There are plans to take a gap year to explore her interests in the medical and criminology fields. Congratulations, Sarah. <laughs> Our next graduate is Tatiana Quiroz Osama. <laughs> Tatiana 
and his degree is in communication sciences and disorders with a minor in applied behavior analysis. She participated in the research capstone focused on the Connections program, in which she explored ways to promote mental health in people who were excluded from community spaces. Tatiana's proudest accomplishment was getting into every graduate program she applied to, including USF. Not surprisingly, Tatiana is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Continue at USF for her master's degree in speech pathology. Congratulations, Dr. Thank you. Our next graduate is Stella Rapova. Stella is graduating with a degree in nursing uh, with a minor in aging sciences. Her research capstone course taken with Professor Dan Ruth. Pulitzer Prize winning journalist with the Tampa Bay Times and a visiting professor in the Honors College. A focus on current events and explored how life can be summarized by a series of life changing events in the flow of history. Stella's proudest accomplishment was completing a study abroad program in Colombia for her public health clinicals. She got to see the process of community health assessments as well as efforts at tropical disease prevention and eradication, increasing her cultural competence and nursing skills. Uh, Stella will go on to work as a full-time registered nurse in the Tampa Bay area. Congratulations, Stella. <laughs> Next is Kirill Sevikov. <laughs> Kirill is completing his degree in cell and molecular biology and statistics. His Judy Goodchef Honors College a thesis assessed attitudes toward prostate cancer, as well as behavioral and social barriers and facilitators of prostate cancer knowledge and screening, especially among black men living in the areas served by the Moffitt Cancer Center. Yeah. Proudest accomplishment was his research into the spatial architecture of the tumor immune microenvironment, presenting his work at three conferences and having it published with Dr. Brooke Fridley, the Moffitt Biostatistics Department Chair. He plans to enroll in the Biostatistics PhD program at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. Congratulations, Kira. <laughs> the next graduate is Raid Siraj. <laughs> Raid is uh, graduating with a degree in computer engineering. Participated in the capstone course devoted to the new honors building, in which he learned about the process of construction through class discussions, site visits, and community engagement. His proudest accomplishment, he says, was his time as a teaching assistant at the university, and was able to give back to the student community in his own way and have a positive and lasting impact. Next, Ray will seek full time employment. Ultimately, he plans to enroll in a master's program. Congratulations, Ray. Next is Shahir Ahmed Sheikh. <laughs> Shahir is receiving his degree in chemical engineering. For his capstone project, created a short disc documentary that encapsulates the emotional story of Linda Collis, a leading member of the American Red Cross who passionately works over 60 hours a week without pay to guide youth volunteers. Shahir's proudest accomplishment at USF was organizing a philanthropic event for his fraternity that raised over $10,000 for the USF You Matter program. After graduation, he will begin full-time employment at Eli Lilly, a pharmaceutical company. Congratulations. <laughs> Next graduate is Chase Austin Stroke. He's receiving his degree in Integrative Animal Biology with concentration on the human tract and a minor in entrepreneurship and innovation. His capstone project explores the phys physician hierarchy as it relates to healthcare decision making, specifically identifying the ineffective <coughs> learning events, the environments for physicians and how they affect patient outcomes and workplace conflict. His favorite honor of memory is traveling with Dr. Davidson and other honor students to the Dominican Republic to volunteer with the Parole Initiative in fall 2021. He's appreciative of the Genshaft Greenbaum Study Abroad Scholarship that allowed him to have a global experience and provide clinical support to various underrepresented communities in the Sosua region of the DR. 
We plan to support the growth year while applying for an MD, MBA program. We hope to bridge the gap between medicine and ethical business practices. Congratulations, Chase. Our next graduate is Alexandra Ting. <laughs> Alexandra's degree is in chemical engineering. She participated in Professor Ruth's capstone, in which she researched in depth events both worldwide and specific to her experiences, and reflected on how their effects are manifested in her development as a person. Her proudest accomplishment at USF was presenting her final chemical engineering capstone project with her project team and winning the award for product design. After graduating, Alexandra will be spending a year of doing research in the Stern Lab at USF. Congratulations, Alexandra. <laughs> Next is Brooke Turpin. Brooke is graduating with a degree in public health and with minors in biology and chemistry. She participated in the, in the Connections Capstone course, in which she worked alongside staff at the Tampa Museum of Art to better understand and provide for museum patrons in the greater Tampa Bay area who are living with mental health conditions. Her favorite honors memory is having the opportunity to meet people from cultures significantly different from her own. She learned to appreciate beauty, whether it be, on, be, be in paintings on the wall or in the peers in her classes. Brooke is going to pursue a gap year uh, to, to gain some hands-on experience in the workforce and to reflect on her future career and professional goals. Congratulations, Brooke. <laughs> Our next president is Kirk Devinsko. <laughs> Kirk's degree is in information science with a concentration in data science and analytics, and a minor in astronomy. For his capstone project, he researched the dynamics of nonprofits in the Tampa area, acting as a consultant for an organization based in New York. He used his findings about what Tampa values, needs, and supports to propose a tech-based recommendation that, that, help, that will help them scale their organization in the Tampa area. His proudest accomplishment was working on a large final project to launch a student-led greenhouse at USF. Although it was a theoretical study, he became very passionate about the idea, and it drew a lot of interest and support. He plans on working a traveling job out west during the summer before he tries to find something in his field. Congratulations, Kirk. <laughs> Our next graduate is Chiselbaum Ulpoadja. Biomedical Sciences with a minor in Women and Gender Studies. Her Judy Goodchef Honors College thesis analyzed the existing legal response framework to domestic violence in West Africa. She asserts that because it is not inclusive, it is not efficient. Ms. Obama's favorite honors experience was getting to host a panel for persons of color interested in healthcare professions. Next, she will attend graduate school at Georgetown University and then pursue a career in medicine. Congratulations, Ms. Obama. Next is Robert Bose. <laughs> Dr. Cassini has a degree in environmental science and policy with a minor in urban studies. His Judy Gunshaft Honors College speaks to study how small urban areas are undertaking climate change resilience planning and how these plans are incorporating equity. Specifically, the study sought to understand what strategies and issues are being incorporated into Pensacola's resilience plan. Robert's uh, favorite honors memory is living in the honors living learning community and taking diverse and interesting courses. After graduation, Robert will enter graduate school at the University of Helsinki in Finland to pursue a master's degree in urban studies and planning and ultimately take a PhD in the subject. Congratulations, Robert. <laughs> Mackenzie Wagoner.
master degrees in communication sciences and disorders with a concentration in American Sign Language interpreting, along with a minor in linguistics. Her research explored how women have historically battled to obtain basic human rights while, while fighting social societal stereotypes, all in the name of being equal. Yet the movement has excluded women with disabilities, trans women, women of color, and others. Her research set shed light on how the movement has or has not represented these people in this cause for justice for all. Mackenzie's favorite honors memory is taking your classes focused on climate change and learning how local organizations are making efforts to limit its impact, with one of those organizations being our honors mechanical guard. Mackenzie plans to interview with multiple interpreting agencies within the Tampa area and find work as a full-time interpreter beginning in the summer. Congratulations, Mackenzie. is Lauren Wheeler. <laughs> Lauren is receiving her degree in nursing. The paper in Professor Ruth's Contemporary Affairs capstone explored how each of us has shaped by the history we live through. The proudest accomplishment was being accepted into the College of Nursing and being able to graduate with BSN. After graduating, she will apply to USF's MSN uh, program and pursue a full-time job as an ER nurse. Congratulations, Lauren. The next graduate is Madeline Wiggins. She completed her degree in psychology on the Sarasota Manatee campus. The Capstone Project examined how the golden rule gives one's life meaning and purpose in everyday living, religion, and literature. Her favorite honored memory is her Arts and Humanities class, which met each week at the Ringling Museum of Art in Sarasota. She enjoyed the change of environment from campus, being surrounded by beautiful artwork and nature, and the time she was able to spend with her peers. She'll begin a graduate program in the fall of 2023 to pursue a master's degree in library and information science, while she continues to work as a library assistant at Rocky Bluff Public Library. Congratulations, Madeline. Final graduate in this ceremony, but only alphabetically, is Andy Zang. <laughs> Andy's graduating with a double major in business analytics and information systems and marketing. Andy's project for the Transitional Justice Capstone course researched the war on drugs from 1970 to 1999 and its effects on both the U.S. and Colombian society. Andy's proudest accomplishment at USF was completing an internship at USF Athletics during his freshman year. He claims it was a great stepping stone to getting some great work experience. Andy will work remotely with Second Eclipse Marketing before applying for graduate schools. Congratulations, Andy. <laughs> Here with a life membership, the best price does come in that first month after graduation. 
Uh, there are about 10,000 life members, but we do have a dynamic network of 389,000 alumni across the world. So no matter where you go, whether it's locally here, I heard in the uh, stage uh, that I came in here towards the end, at least one reference to Washington, D.C. I'm sure a lot of you are heading elsewhere. We do have 40 chapters around the world. Uh, and I think no matter where you end up, no matter where you land, you're going to find one of those 389,000 bowls around the world willing to help you out, connect, and engage with you. I invite you to keep us, keep us informed of all of your successes as you go through life. Just two weeks ago in this room, we had our Outstanding Young Alumni Awards, where we recognized six dynamic young alums under the age of 35. Two of them were, in fact, Honors College graduates, so they did, in fact, sit where you're sitting right now. And then a few years later, we brought them back to recognize and honor them for their highly uh, successful careers so far. So keep us informed. Uh, keep us up to date on everything you're doing. I know you will be all off to tremendous success in your life. Don't forget about us. Uh, we're here to keep you engaged and connected. And without further ado, I would like to say congratulations on your graduation and welcome to the alumni family. Near the end of our ceremony, just a couple more things to say. I want to uh, give a special shout out to a couple of people who worked very hard to organize this event. Uh, Mr. Dana Taylor, our Director of uh, Communications and Marketing, and Ms. Dana uh, Cohen, uh, Diana Cohen, uh, who is our uh, Facilities and Special Events uh, Director. So thanks very much to them for putting all this together. I also want to say a word about scripts that I was reading from and all these slides that you've been, been looking at, as you might guess, there's a whole lot of work that goes into that. And most of it, almost all of it, was done by students under Mr. Taylor's uh, direction. I want to mention them by name and just say um, thank you to them. Crystal D'Souza, Emery Nadine, Maria Isaacs, Ari Herrera, uh, Riva Gandhi, and Alexis Agnew. Thank you all very much for all that. <laughs> Now we're going to have a photograph, um, a group photograph, and give you a chance to take a picture of the entire group, and then of course have pictures with your, your particular student. If the audience would just remain, you and the audience would just remain seated for just a moment, and let the uh, students use these side aisles, go to the right and left, go up, go up those doors to the back, right and left. Just wait a second, once they're out there, we'll all go out and get uh, plenty of time for pictures. So thank you all very much for coming. Go Bulls!
It is three o'clock. Welcome everybody. It's great to, great to have you here this afternoon. I'm Charles Adams. I'm the Dean of the Judy Ginshap Honors College. And it's my pleasure and privilege to um, host this, uh, this event this afternoon. A very happy event. It's a wonderful weekend in general. Uh, the, the culmination of so many years of work and hard effort by, by all, of these, all of these students. And we're so, so proud of them for, for so many reasons. Um, among them, though, is the fact that uh, these students have, have pushed themselves beyond what was absolutely required of them to get a degree. Uh, they challenged themselves by submitting themselves, is that the right word, to the, to the honors um, requirements and, and obligations. And we hope that that's been uh, an important part of their, uh, their educational journey. Uh, they pushed themselves beyond their comfort zone, and I think that that, um, that characteristic of each and every one of these students up here is going to put them in a very good position uh, going forward. They are characterized by a willingness to, to do more than people just tell them to do. Uh, to, uh, to reach for excellence and, and push beyond the required. So it's a great to, um, to honor them today, and I'm looking forward to honoring them, each and every one. Uh, this group, um, we're, of course, we're proud every year of our graduates, and proud of all our graduates for all the years, but this group and a couple of others, as we know, uh, have dealt with some unusual, uh, unprecedented was the word, I think, uh, challenges uh, over the past couple of years. They, they entered the USF just before the pandemic hit, and they, persevered uh, through some very, very difficult uh, circumstances. Uh, I know uh, a number of them have dealt with very difficult personal um, challenges during this period, as many, many in this audience did. And, uh, but they've persevered, they've succeeded, and so I, what I tell them often when we talk about these things is that I hope that they, they're, they've been able to learn something from this, and that they've, they've learned something from the experience. It was terrible. Uh, but the important thing is to learn something from an experience like that and carry it forward. Uh, in life and um, make the best of it. And I know that these are the types of, of people who are going to do exactly that uh, going forward. So I want to um, thank a couple of groups of people who are with us today before we turn to the business at hand. And the first group I want to thank is you all um, sitting in the audience today. Uh, the families and supporters and friends uh, of the graduates sitting in front of the room. Uh, my wife and I put a couple girls through college a number of years ago, and uh, we know what it takes to get students at this point. We know the village uh, that's required to get them to this point. We know about the late night phone calls. Uh, we know about the quick transfusions of cash that are occasionally required um, to get them from point A to point B. Uh, I know um, what you've done, and I appreciate it, and I know that the students up here in front of the room appreciate it. So I'm going to invite the students and all of you to give yourselves a hand, please. I also want to thank another group that's in the room today, uh, at least a number of them are, and that's the Honors College staff, the faculty, advisors, and professional staff of the Judy Genshaft Honors College. I'm privileged to work with these people every day, and I'm inspired by their commitment to student success, by their passion um, to do the best they can for these students, and I suspect that uh, each and every one of you has heard uh, at least one name, and probably several, the names of the Honors College faculty, advisors, and staff members who, people who have um, who helped um, these students up here in some important way at some critical moment, um, or been with them all along since they, since they entered uh, USF and, and, the, and the Honors College. So I'm very appreciative of all that they do. I'm honored to work with them and very proud of them. And I invite you please to give them a hand for all that they do for students. So let me describe what's going to happen here, uh, how this works. Uh, we're going to call up each student uh, alphabetically, and uh, each will come up here, and they will receive a beautiful golden medallion, not real gold, but uh, golden medallion. <laughs> and, you know, don't run out the door with your medallion. Or anything like that. Um, and I encourage each and every one of you to please wear the medallion when you go to the All University graduation at the Yingling Center. Uh, there's a sea of green there, and it's lovely to be able to pick out um, our Judy Genshaft Honors College students by the gold medallions that they wear around their, around their necks. So please take those with you when you go to graduation. Uh, when they come up, I'm going to read a short uh, biographical statement um, about each student. Uh, I would love to say that I know every one of our 2,500 students well enough to do that off the cuff, but I, I, I'm relying on a questionnaire that the students have each individually completed and they were asked to um, supply information like their major, uh, to talk about their research project, which might be a group capstone project, or it might be a single person thesis, individual thesis, 
um, to talk about their favorite uh, monitor's experience and to and maybe talk about their proudest accomplishment while in USF, and then to tell us a little bit about what they're going to be doing next. So that's the structure of the biographical statements that I'll be reading um, for each student. I'll be recognizing a couple of groups, important groups, uh, among these students. One is the uh, group of King O'Neill scholars. Uh, these are students who, have, who are graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA. And we, have, we have several of them uh, with us this afternoon. I'll recognize those uh, as they come up. And I'll also be recognizing uh, the students who have won the Dean Circle of Merit Award. Uh, this is an award that um, we give in four categories, so research, service, leadership, and global citizenship. Uh, the students are nominated uh, by the staff, faculty advisors and staff of the Honors College, and um, they are selected by a committee, uh, which um, awards them the Dean Circle of Merit, and I'll be announcing those winners as we, as we go. Uh, I encourage you to um, cheer for your student, um, cheer for other students too, uh, and uh, feel free to take pictures. Um, we're not, uh, not too structured here, not too stuffy. Please feel free to come up, and you can't do that at the all university graduation. Uh, this is your chance to get a good, get a good picture of your student uh, being honored uh, here in the, in the Honors College. So with all that, um, we shall turn to the business at hand, and we'll begin with our first graduate, who is a person well known to many of us in the Honors College, Maxwell Amadi. <laughs> I got to call him Max. Max is graduating with a degree in Business Analytics and Information Systems. He completed the Judy Inchap Honors College thesis in which he investigated the correlation between motivation during the pandemic and increases or decreases in workplace turnover. Max's favorite honors memory is his study abroad uh, trip in Europe with the college. He visited Berlin, Hamburg, and Amsterdam while studying the German language and culture with his friends at Osterbrook, and it was, he says, a time that he will never forget. Maxwell will stay at USF for graduate school and enter the Vinick School, at Vinick, sorry, Vinick Sport and Entertainment Management Program to pursue a dual MBA in sports management and business administration. Congratulations, Max. The next graduate is Hayden Anderson. Hayden is completing her degree in political science. Her honors thesis analyzed the legal identity of Afghan refugee women who came to the U.S. during the Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan in 2021. Hayden's favorite memory was, uh, honors memory, was being an honors peer mentor in the fall of 2022. Peer mentors are upper class students who um, teach our Honors Foundations course. This is a transition to college course for incoming freshmen in the Honors College. Um, Hayden said, I got to interact with so many wonderful people and helped to meet a group of freshmen change makers. Next, Hayden will attend Stetson University College of Law. Congratulations, Hayden. <laughs> Next is Marla Atala. Marla's graduating with a degree in biomedical engineering. Her capstone project investigated the concept of self-care and its role in establishing satisfaction given the constraints of motivation and time. Marla's favorite honors memory, she says, was completing her community service hours, providing services to displaced persons and those in assisted living. After graduating, Marla will be seeking employment as an engineer at a medical device company. Congratulations, Marla. Next graduate is Zoe Bergman. <laughs> Zoe's completing her degree in nursing. She completed a capstone course titled Parenting in Poverty, in which she researched the needs of families living in poverty um, and uh, need resources at the local, state, and national levels. She created an active educational website that describes and locates resources for Tampa Bay families. Zoe's proudest accomplishment while at USF was making it to level four in the nursing program and being accepted into a pediatric ER uh, for completion of her nursing preceptorship. Zoe plans to work as a pediatric nurse in Tampa while pursuing her master's degree with the goal of becoming a family nurse practitioner. Congratulations. <laughs>
Next is Nirna Pashai. Nirna is completing her degree in biomedical engineering. For her engineering capstone, Nirna and her team built a device to measure a patient's vitals through an electrical system in order to increase hospital efficiency and thereby improve patient outcomes. Her favorite honors experience was her community service. She was able to participate in a homeless outreach and volunteer at an assisted living facility, which she says was incredibly rewarding. It taught her to be grateful for the opportunities that she has. Myrna would like to gain experience in her field for a year and then attend law school. Congratulations, Myrna. <laughs> next graduate is Laziza Murata. She's completing her degree in cell and molecular biology with a minor in environmental science and policy and biological anthropology. Her honors thesis used fecal indicator bacteria to determine the level of fecal pollution in rivers in Bangladesh and in Florida in order to make comparisons between urban rivers in a developing versus a developed country. Aziza says her proudest honors accomplishment was becoming the first international student become the president of the Judy Genshaft Honors College Student Council. <laughs> and, and in that regard, I'm delighted to announce that Aziza is a recipient of the Dean Circle of Directors. <laughs> The selection committee commended her for exemplifying the values of inclusive leadership as president of the student council. The committee also commended her for leading the council during the temporary absence of the graduate assistant advisor to ensure diverse programming that managed to bring student engagement back to pre-pandemic levels. She's a recipient of the prestigious Golden Bull Award given to very few students each year who best exemplify the university's values of academic excellence and community leadership. Next, she plans to explore her postgraduate options. She hopes to pursue a postgraduate education and return to Bangladesh to improve the state of pollution in disadvantaged neighborhoods. Congratulations. <laughs> the next graduate is Anna Becker. <laughs> Anna is completing her degree with a major in accounting. She completed the capstone project in connection with our Germany Engineering Summer Program, through which she spent six weeks learning about innovative, sustainable engineering and environmental planning in Germany. Her favorite honors memory was her experience studying abroad in the Bahamas. Anna will work full time as a member of the audit staff at Thomas Howell Ferguson, PA, and pursue a certified public accountant licensure. Congratulations, Thomas. Next is Nicholas Bryan. <laughs> Nicholas is graduating with a major in biomedical sciences with minors in biomedical engineering and astronomy. He participated in an honors capstone course titled Exploring Behind the Veil, the new honors building with Professor Sakai, in which he and his team researched and created an informative guide about the new honors college building, which is going up and is up over on Ginshaft Drive near the Yingling Center and will be opened next week. Um, the, uh, an informative guide about the new Honors College building to be used on visitor tours and made available to incoming students. Nicholas's favorite Honors memory was creating lifelong memories and forging life-lasting friendships in the Honors Living Learning community. After graduating, Nicholas will prepare for medical school applications. Congratulations, Nicholas. Next is Mandy Chor. Another one of our honors ambassadors and a familiar face around the college. Mandy's graduating with a degree in biomedical sciences and a minor in public health. For her Judy Genshaft Honors College thesis, she created her own oral health lesson and then taught at different schools in Cambodia during the summer of 2022. 
She taught about 200 children how to brush and floss the teeth and the importance of dental hygiene. Her favorite honors memories are organizing culture night for student council and taking part in the fashion show dressed in Chinese traditional attire. I'm delighted to announce that Mandy is receiving the Dean's Circle of Merit for Service. Committee commended her for serving and supporting countless members of the Honors College community as an Honors Ambassador, Honors Orientation Mentor, Honors Foundation's Peer Mentor, Honors College Student Council Executive Board Member, and Student Lead of the Honors Orchestra. Mandy also served the global community by conducting service projects in conjunction with the Parole Initiative in the Dominican Republic and with primary schools in Cambodia. Mandy plans to attend um, dental school uh, while working on the admissions team and as a tour guide, the for the new Honors College building. Congratulations, man. <laughs> Casey Crown is our next graduate. <laughs> Casey is completing her degree in mass communications and integrated public relations and advertising. She participated in an honors capstone course titled Digital Video, in which she and her classmates created multiple videos covering a variety of important topics. Casey's production was called her Story of Me, and told the story of how she ended up at USF in the Honors College. Casey's favorite honors memory is studying abroad with the Honors College at the University of Exeter in the UK during the spring of her freshman year. She says she met many amazing people, including her best friend, and spent every second smiling. Next, Casey will pursue uh, full-time employment as either a producer or a reporter. Congratulations, Casey. <laughs> Our next graduate is Arthur D'Souza. <laughs> Arthur is completing his degree in health science with a minor in nutrition. Arthur participated in Professor Daniel Roos' capstone seminar in civic literacy, in which he and others in the class produced projects that explore the ways in which their own personal stories have been shaped by national and international events. Arthur's favorite honors memory for the last four years is putting 100% effort into his academics and extracurriculars to get into his top choice for medical school. Arthur will, in fact, attend medical school at the University of Florida's College of Medicine. Graduate is Caitlin Dean. She's graduating with majors in cellular and molecular biology and criminology with a minor in deaf studies. Her honors research capstone created a proposal for a more meaningful interaction between the deaf community and humanities-based institutions such as art museums based on a collaboration of different community partners like deaf community resources university interpreting pro programs and cultural institutions. Caitlin's favorite honors memory was her time serving on the Judy Genchak Honors College Student Council as community and leadership coordinator, then vice president, while finding her best friends within this community and graduating with them. Caitlin is a 20, two, 2022 initiate in Phi Beta Kappa, the Distinguished Academic Honor Society, a 2023 recipient of a Golden Bowl Award for Excellence in Academics and Leadership, and she is the winner, you'll see at graduation, of the Ralph C. Wilcox Award for the Outstanding Graduate for Spring 2023. Yeah, Caitlin, what, yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> Caitlin will be pursuing a Master's in Curriculum and Instruction uh, with a concentration in College Student Affairs at USF. She'll be the Graduate Assistant of Programming for the Center for Student Involvement. Ultimately, she intends to pursue an MD, JD program with hopes of becoming a forensic pathologist and expert witness. Congratulations, Caitlin. <laughs> Our next graduate is Juliana Digatano. Juliana is graduating with a major in biomedical science. 
Her honors capstone project explored the experiences of third degree burn victims and the difficulties they face in their recoveries. Her favorite honors memory was her service trip to the Dominican Republic in the spring of 2022. Her cohort worked um, together at free health clinics for the community of Puerto Plata. Juliana is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Next, Juliana will attend Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine to become a radiologist. Congratulations, Juliana. Our next graduate is Brianna Dethamore. She's graduating with a degree in Communication Sciences and Disorders, including a minor in Applied Behavior Analysis. Her honors thesis analyzed how the online game Among Us affects the way students of, I don't know, but the, affects the way <laughs> students with autism, I'm just reading, affects the way students with autism learn various social skills that the game requires. These social skills include social niceties, asking and answering questions, and non-game related comments. Brianna's favorite honors memory was living in the Judy Genchap Honors College Living Learning Community during her freshman year, where she says she forged priceless memories and personal connections. Next, she'll pursue a master's degree in speech language pathology at the University of Florida and become a speech pathologist. Congratulations. <laughs> Next graduate is Chrislyn D'Souza. Chrislyn is completing her degree in supply chain management. She participated in an honors capstone course titled Perspectives in Performing Arts Healthcare, in which she and others conducted research on the physical and mental health issues faced by performing artists, a vulnerable and underserved population, and explored evidence-based solutions to improve their healthcare access. Crystal is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Crystal's proudest accomplishment is graduating a year early while balancing internships with General Motors, a co-op with Johnson & Johnson, and working on campus at the Honors College. Uh, she served as the editor of our weekly news e-newsletter, The Honor Roll, and I'm very grateful to her for her service. Chrislyn will return to GM's headquarters in Detroit uh, as a tactical operations coordinator and also start the online MS in supply chain management at USF this fall. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is Morgan Eckblad. Morgan is graduating with a major in biomedical sciences, a minor in public health and nutrition. For his honors creativity capstone project, he developed and pitched plausible solutions for current issues within healthcare to a nonprofit. Morgan's favorite honors memory was being able to study abroad in Italy through our program in Florence, where he shadowed surgical uh, physicians in operating rooms. After graduating, Morgan plans to apply to medical school. Congratulations, Morgan. The next graduate is Kevin Espinet Pizarro. <laughs> Kevin is completing his degree in psychology with a concentration in advanced research experience in psychology. He completed the psychology department honors thesis in which he investigated whether increased levels of self-judgmental thoughts lead to increased feelings of self-hate. The thesis also evaluated whether having warm parents or having high levels of self-kindness prevented the development of self-hate in self-judgmental individuals. His favorite honors memory is, was his collaboration with numerous prom prominent research institutions, including Johns Hopkins University and the Harvard Medical School. In recognition of Kevin's passion for research, I am pleased to announce that he is the recipient of the Dean's Circle of Merit for Research. The Selection Committee uh, commended him for completing impactful psychological research through both an honors capstone research project and an honors thesis. Kevin expanded his thesis research while working as a virtual clinical research coordinator at Harvard Medical School's psychiatry department and represented the Judy Genshaft Honors College by presenting psychological research at multiple national conferences. 
He was also among the first USF undergraduate students to have their research published by Johns Hopkins University's prestigious research journal. Kevin will be working as a clinical research assistant at Warren Alpert Medical School at Brown University's uh, Adolescent Risk Lab. Afterwards, he's planning to pursue a PhD in clinical psychology to work as a licensed clinical psychologist. Congratulations, Kevin. <laughs> Lauren Flannery is our next graduate. <laughs> Lauren's completing her degree in environmental science and policy. She participated in that performing arts healthcare course in which she interviewed performers and heard about their experiences. Based on her interviews, she worked with a group to develop strategies to help performers with their specific difficulties based on the material discussed in class and on her individual research. Her favorite honors memory is her study abroad experience in the Bahamas, where she met wonderful people and had, to, had the opportunity to learn about ecological processes through her experiences in a tropical island environment. After an internship with the National Park Service at Yellowstone National Park, Lauren will be seeking a full-time position as an environmental scientist. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next graduate is Avery Fleischman. <laughs> Avery is graduating with a degree in biomedical sciences and a minor in studio art. Her honors research thesis was an excellent exploration into the ways humans interact with the natural environment through an analysis of various academic sources and the creation of a summative art piece. Avery's favorite honors memory is presenting her honors thesis at the 2023 USF Undergraduate Humanities Conference. Avery is a 2023 inductee in Phi Beta Kappa, the nation's oldest academic honor society. Next, Avery will enter the Medical Illustration Graduate Program at Augusta University, where she will earn a master's degree in medical illustration. Congratulations, Avery. <laughs> Benjamin Garcia. Benjamin is graduating with a major in statistics. He participated in a capstone course entitled Telling Your Story, in which he wrote a creative writing piece that encouraged him to develop strength of narrative and analysis skills. His favorite honors memory is participating in a peer review session on his creative writing story about a duck flying into him. <laughs> After graduating, Benjamin will enroll in a master's program in statistics and data science at the University of Central Florida. Congratulations, Benjamin. Our next graduate is Megan Gillum. <laughs> Megan is completing her degree with majors in psychology and in health sciences with a concentration in biological health science. She participated in the honors capstone course in which she and others worked together to discover why attendance in, in the Advanced Manufacturing and Robotic Center's Fab Lab, just off campus here in the University Mall, um, among uh, local students in low-income neighborhoods is so low. Amrock is a company that specializes in STEM-based activities that help students enhance their skills, so it is important to increase attendance among low-income students. Megan's proudest accomplishment at USF is graduating with two degrees and being accepted into physical therapy school. Later this month, Megan will enter Charleston Southern University's EPT program and graduate in December as a doctor of physical therapy. Congratulations, Megan. Our next graduate is Isha Kershaw. <laughs> Isha is completing her degree in cell and molecular biology and psychology with a minor in public health. Her honors thesis reflected on the emotional impact of the pandemic by creating found poems out of written narratives gathered by the Pandemic Journaling Project. The favorite honors memories are from serving as a peer mentor for three years in the Honors College and as a peer mentor lead in her final year. Isha is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.1. <laughs> Our next 
Isha will enroll in the University of Miami's Miller School of Medicine. Congratulations, Isha. <laughs> Our next graduate is Grant Hathaway. <laughs> Grant is completing his degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in microbiology. He completed an honors research thesis investigating how biofilms <laughs> play a role in the development of disease and bacteria prevalent uh, to hospital-based infections. His favorite honors memory is finishing that honors thesis. <laughs> Grant plans to attend graduate school and go into scientific research. Congratulations, Grant. <laughs> Our next graduate is Jay Kissman. Jay is graduating with a degree in biomedical engineering. She participated in the Honors Creative Writing Capstone course in which she explored the idea of feeling comfortable in one's own voice using the power of pen and paper. Did you actually move pen and paper? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, I see. Right. Uh, Jay's proudest accomplishment was her biomedical engineering capstone project. She enjoyed working alongside her classmates and professors, exchanging ideas and exploring new solutions together. By the time the project was complete, Jay had gained valuable technical skills and developed a sense of pride and confidence in her abilities. Jay hopes to obtain an internship during the summer and pursue her master's degree at USF in biomedical engineering in the fall of 2023. Congratulations, Jay. <laughs> Our next graduate is Maria Ibrahim. graduating with majors in International Studies and Psychology. Her thesis explored the use of social media as a medium for three social movements, Black Lives Matter, Say Her Name, and the Palestinian Human Rights Movement in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. Her favorite honor of memory is participating in Operation Global Action in the Honors Women in the Middle East course. She collaborated with students from Universidad del Norte in Colombia and crafted a women's rights initiative that received university-wide recognition. Next, she will be attending Emory University School of Law in Atlanta. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Himsa Islim. is completing her degree in English with a minor in legal studies. She completed an honors capstone course in reproductive health rights and justice about the intersections of laws and policies with reproductive health and how this affects a household. Hems's favorite honors memory was getting to work on legal research during her undergraduate years. Not surprisingly, she'll be attending Stetson University College of Law. Congratulations, Hemsa. Our next graduate is Sila Keating. <laughs> Sila is completing her degree in psychology and sociology with a concentration in inequality and social justice. She, see, she also participated in the Reproductive Health Capstone course in which she and her group created a website to compile resources on the experience of people in prisons needing reproductive health care as well as institutional policies and legislative actions that protect or limit access to necessary care. Tila's favorite honors memory was making lifelong friends and wonderful connections at USF through the courses, organizations, volunteering, and leadership roles that she enjoyed. Tila is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0. a career in criminal justice and prison reform with a goal of increasing equality and freedom for all. Congratulations, Leo. Our next graduate is Isabel Kanko. Isabel is graduating with a degree in nursing and a minor in nutrition. She completed an honors innovation capstone in which she evaluated neonatal ICU designs to see which one best optimizes the overall environment of the in, in, in ICU 
for the infant, family, and medical staff. Additionally, her project provided suggestions for future NICU designs based on the research. Her proudest accomplishment at USF was being able to make a positive impact in the clinical sites she attended during her time in nursing school. When you started your career as a neonatal ICU nurse in Advent Health Children's Pediatric Nurse Residency Program. Congratulations to Sabrina. Caleb Krasner is our next graduate. He is completing his degree in business advertising. Caleb completed an honors thesis that examined how businesses can leverage a focus on profit, planet, and people to improve society and the environment. Caleb's favorite honors memory was studying abroad in the Czech Republic at Marsarak University with a specific focus on emerging technologies. After graduating, Caleb will be working as a production assistant at Blue Water Media. Congratulations, Caleb. Our next graduate is Anik Landon. She's finishing her degree with a major in biology. Her honors thesis focused on immune checkpoint blockade therapy efficacy in a bladder cancer murine model. Her favorite honors memory is studying abroad with other honors students in the Bahamas. She will attend veterinary school with the hopes of becoming a socially conscious veterinarian. She's been accepted to the University of Florida, Louisiana State University, University of Georgia, Ohio State University, University of Pennsylvania, and Cornell's veterinary schools. Our next graduate is Abigail Lance. She's completing her degree in sociology and cell and molecular biology. For her honors thesis, she developed a survey for the Connections Program, a mental health uh, collaboration between the Honors College and the Tampa Museum of Art. She proposed a survey administration strategy for gauging the community's interest in and knowledge of the Community Connections Program. Abigail's favorite honors memory is the Judy Genshaft Honors College Living and Learning Community, where she lived as a resident and served as a residential assistant. Next, Abigail will be attending the USF Morsani College of Medicine. Congratulations, Abigail. Our next graduate is Christy Lynn Lapine. She's completing her degree in history with a minor in anthropology. Her honors thesis examined the history of the word unit in the context of a study of current trends in transphobia and historical ethnocentrism. Christie's favorite honors memory was working with Heritage Village in Pinellas County to create an exhibit about Madeira Beach. She plans to pursue a PhD in the legal and cultural history of transgender and non-cisnormative people in the 20th century. Congratulations, Christine. Next graduate is Caitlin Luchens. Her degree is in business management with a minor in environmental science and policy. Her capstone uh, addressed the lack of electric vehicles on USF's Tampa campus. Caitlin's capstone group used the systems thinking process to research this issue and determine potential sustainable solutions. Her favorite honors memory is living in the honors living learning community during the freshman year. Caitlin is graduating as a King O'Neill scholar with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Next, Caitlin will pursue a Master of Science degree in Sustainability and Environmental Management at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Congratulations, Caitlin. Our next graduate is Sana Lulu. A long walk. Sana is graduating with a degree in Biomedical Sciences and a minor in Biomedical Physics. She participated in the Honors Research Capstone course focused on the new Honors College building on the Tampa campus. Her section conducted oral history reviews 
uh, with the various design, construction, and management teams working on our new building, which they later assembled into visual final projects, taking time to weave a narrative connecting all the people behind such a momentous endeavor. Her favorite honors memory was her experience as co-director of the Honors College Special Exhibit in the Center Gallery in the Marshall Student Center, Journey Through Change, in her curatorial practices honors course. A 2022 initiate in Phi Beta Kappa, she's planning to pursue aesthetics research and continue gaining experience in plastic surgery to support her future career in medicine. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next graduate is Samantha Lundberg. She's completing a degree in psychology and health sciences with concentrations in biological health science and social and behavioral health sciences, along with a minor in studio art. Samantha participated in the Reproductive Health Research Capstone course in which she helped to create a social media platform to educate people about the relationship between reproductive uh, uh, reproduction and mental health. Samantha's proudest accomplishment was finishing two degrees. Samantha will be seeking full-time employment, applying to graduate schools, and possibly taking a growth year. Congratulations, Samantha. <laughs> Next is David Vidal. David is graduating with a major in biomedical sciences and a minor in Spanish. As a member of the Visual Narratives Honors Research Capstone course, he co-directed, edited, and produced a short film documentary on the impact of the botanical gardens in the USF community. David's proudest accomplishment, he says, was his involvement in the USF Pre-Pharmacy Society. He served as the public relations chair, vice president, two-term president, and is very grateful for the leadership experience that he gained from the organization. A 2022 initiate in Phi Beta Kappa, David will attend the Eshelman School of Pharmacy at the University of North Carolina to pursue a doctorate in pharmacy. Congratulations, David. <laughs> Next is Kathy Mai. Kathy's completing her degree in Biomedical Sciences and Psychology. She participated in the Connection Program, Capstone Course, in which she assisted with the integration into this art therapy program pilot study about novel sensory activity conducted by the instructor, Dr. Catherine Wilkins. Kathy's, uh, Kathy's favorite uh, honors memories are with her illustrious peers and professors, all of whom, she says, she felt deeply inspired by. Kathy plans to take a growth year and then attend medical school. Congratulations, Kathy. Our next graduate is Ashley Manu. <laughs> Ashley's degree is in biomedical sciences with a minor in nutrition. She participated in the capstone focused on the new Honors College building, for which she interviewed multiple experts involved in the design and construction of this beautiful structure. Ashley's proudest accomplishment at USF was designing a nutrition education program for students in the UK. Ashley plans to apply to dental school and travel more. Congratulations, Ashley. <laughs> Our next graduate is Brianna Fennu. <laughs> She's completing her degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in infection control. Brianna was also part of the capstone project that interviewed those who contributed to the new Judy Ginshack Honors College building. Her favorite honors memory was when she partnered with a local high school to develop an alumni network. She's also proud to be a King O'Neill Scholar graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA. She plans to apply to middle school and become a dentist. Congratulations, Brianna. Our next graduate is Isaias Martinez. Isaias is graduating with majors in biomedical sciences and music studies. As a member of the Reproductive Health Research Capstone course, he provided vital support for the group's effort to increase the visibility of the issues around reproductive health and solutions to challenges to achieve it. 
His favorite honors memory was his time helping to build the honors garden and watching all the vegetables grow to help feed our community. Isaiah is another of this afternoon's King O'Neill scholars, graduating with a perfect 4.0. He plans next to apply as an early decision candidate to the USF Morsani College of Medicine. Congratulations, Isaiah. The next graduate is Elizabeth, Elizabeth Miller. Her degree is in health sciences with minors in nutrition and biology. She was also part of the capstone effort to help future students learn more about the new honors building in Tampa through storytelling. Her favorite honors memory was living and making lifelong friends in the honors college living learning community. Next, Elizabeth will attend the College of Optometry at Nova Southeastern University. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Next graduate is Emily Mitchell. <laughs> Emily's degree is in professional and te technical communications with a minor in legal studies. Emily completed an honors research capstone course focused on the work of W.E.B. Du Bois, in which the students analyzed trends over time related to race in several academic fields and professional careers. This included black participation in the legal profession, scores on reading tests, group by age, and incarceration rates. Emily's proudest memory is for serving as the president of the Tampa campus USF Ambassadors during the 2022-23 academic year. Emily plans to attend law school. Congratulations, Emily. Our next graduate is Savannah Moore. They are completing their degree in psychology. Savannah completed the Judy Genshap Honors College thesis in which they conducted a systematic review investigating the efficiency of using cognitive behavioral therapy as a treatment for alcohol issues compared to other common treatments. Savannah's favorite honors memory is their honors classes. Their professors encourage them to challenge their ideas, morals, and worldviews. In particular, uh, Patrick Casey changed their outlook on news and media through his political polarization course. Savannah is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Savannah plans to get an entry-level job in the field of industrial organizational psychology. Congratulations, Savannah. <laughs> Next is Connor Murray. <laughs> Connor is graduating with majors in psychology and health sciences with a biological health sciences concentration. His honor thesis examined how different personality traits, in addition to differing levels of stress, impact one's ability to recognize and understand emotions in other people. His favorite honor's memory is, is participating in the Germany Beyond the Classroom program after which he spent three weeks in Germany and other European cities with other honors students. Honor is a 2023 initiate in the Phi Beta Kappa Society and a winner of the Golden Bull Award for Excellence in Academics and Leadership. He plans to take a gap year and work in psychological research before applying to graduate programs in clinical neuropsychology. Congratulations, Honor. Our next graduate is Dang Nguyen. <laughs> Dang's degree is in biomedical engineering. He completed the Judy Genshap College honors thesis in which he investigated how the COVID-19 pandemic needed social distancing guidelines, resulting in a rapid transition to telehealth in the medical care field. The study provides a snapshot of the global use of telehealth during the pandemic. Thanks, favorite honors memory is the opportunity to co-author over 14 peer-reviewed articles, including featured in leading peer-reviewed medical journals, with eight additional publications and patents awaiting approval. Not surprisingly, Dan is the recipient of the Dean Circle of Merit Award for Research.
The selection committee commended him for utilizing his experiences as a winner of the Judy Gunshap Honors College Grand Challenge Competition and the connections made from faculty members in the college and other academic departments to develop and participate in numerous health-oriented research projects in Pakistan, Tanzania, the Dominican Republic, Germany, the Philippines, and his home country of Vietnam. In addition to his publications and presentations, Dang has developed his own medical engineering company to design and distribute low-cost medical devices. Dang intends to pursue a Master of Public Health degree in Cardiovascular Epidemiology in the United Kingdom. He also aspires to earn a medical degree in the United States to become an interventional cardiologist and a clinical trialist. Congratulations, Dang. Our next graduate is Caroline Fogel. <laughs> Caroline is completing her degree in marketing with a minor in international business. She completed an honors capstone while participating in the honors section of the USF in London program, during which she was able to see the city up close by walking through it and reflect on her observations and experiences through many lenses. Her favorite honors memory is her time as an honors peer mentor. Uh, in which role she connected with new freshmen uh, as they adapted to USF's environment, teaching a virtual class, and even staying after with students that connect and hang out. Caroline will be starting a position as an administrative and accounting coordinator at Foley Ryan's Architecture in Sarasota, Florida. Congratulations, Caroline. <laughs> Our next graduate is Brooke Olson. graduating with a major in business management and a minor in public health. The capstone course uh, project sought to better understand Honors College students' compliance with social distancing and isolation recommendations during the pandemic. Her favorite Honors memory uh, is taking a class on German art and history. Brooke will stay in Tampa to become a nurse. Congratulations, Brooke. Our next graduate is Isabella Penoso. <laughs> Isabella is graduating with a major in chemical engineering and a minor in biomedical engineering. In her honors research capstone course with Dr. Michael Cross, she explored the plight of caregivers in the community and worked to find practical, behavioral, and technological solutions to improve their quality of life. Her favorite honors memory is conducting research alongside Dr. Stern, and PhD candidate Damon Patton to apply protein engineering techniques to problems in cell-based therapy. Isabella will continue research with the Stern Lab at USF through the summer. Beyond that, she plans to continue her education and work toward the advancement of affordable biomedical technology to improve health, wellness, and quality of life. Congratulations, Isabella. Our next graduate is Neelam Patel. <laughs> Neelam is completing her degree in political science with a minor in environmental science and policy. Her research uh, capstone course focused on the issue of, of electrical vehicle charging stations on the Tampa campus. Her group addressed the infrastructure, mental, and financial barriers uh, associated with implementing more EV charging stations on campus with the result that she proposed that the Student Green Energy Council allocate $200,000 to add new electric vehicle charging stations on the campus. She received the Honors Capstone Research Group Award at the 2023 USF Research and Innovation Awards. Lilo's favorite honors memory is helping Dr. Hargrove uh, of the Honors College faculty host the Climate Teach-In as a Renewable Energy Campaign Coordinator. She hosted events like beach cleanups, career fairs, and Earth Week celebrations. She also enjoyed serving as an honors orientation mentor for Megan Bronstein in the front row here. Neela will be attending law school and hopes to pursue a career in environmental law with the U.S. Navy. Congratulations, Neela. Our next is Jasmine Primus. is in biomedical sciences with a minor in studio art. For her honors capstone, she produced a documentary 
about the Tampa Bay Humane Society, highlighting the daily duties of staff and volunteers at the Humane Society. Jasmine's favorite honors memories and her guided meditations in Dr. Bennett Curry's class on emotions. Jasmine plans to take a gap year before attending medical school to become a plastic surgeon. Congratulations, Jasmine. <laughs> Our next graduate is Rafidur Rahman. <laughs> He's graduating with a degree in electrical engineering. His honors research project investigates how classroom designs and a few course modifications can improve the mental health of engineering students. His favorite honors memory is visiting the haunted house in the Honors College building in the fall of the <laughs> He hopes to positively impact people's lives in the leadership position. His long-term plan is to give back to his home country of Bangladesh. Congratulations, Reef Park. <laughs> Our next graduate is Kayla Richard. She's completing her degree in accounting. For her honors capstone project on the Connections Program, she researched the role of various art forms in the recovery of military service members dealing with PTSD and depressive thoughts. Kayla's favorite honors memory was having class at the Tampa Museum of Art facilitating a connection tour at the museum. Kayla will pursue a graduate degree in forensic accounting and fraud investigations at Pardo University while also working at the Bill Air Force Base for the Defense Intelligence Agency. Congratulations, Kayla. Reese Roth is next. <laughs> Reese is completing his degree in integrative animal biology on the human track. He completed an honors thesis that investigated trends and connections between climate change and the chances of disease transmission. His favorite USF memory was joining his fraternity AE5. Reese plans to attend medical school. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next graduate is Sophie Roth Needham. <laughs> Sophie's degree is in public health. She participated in the research capstone course on the new honors building, in which she contributed to creating a self-guided walking tour of the building for students, faculty, and alumni that highlighted the sustainable and innovative design, as well as the process and rationale behind those features. Her proudest accomplishment at USF, she says, was her time representing the university and the Honors College as an official green and gold guy. She loved being able to highlight the amazing resources and opportunities that USF has to offer and connecting with prospective families. Sophie will be attending graduate school. She's been accepted to USF, the University of Michigan, and the University of Iowa with full scholarships. Any decisions yet? Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Our next graduate is Kylie Salvior. She's graduating with majors in psychology and behavioral health care with a concentration in applied behavior analysis, along with a minor in criminology. She was a member of the Reproductive Health Honors Research Capstone course, in which she helped to create a social media platform to educate people about the relationship between reproduction and mental health. Her proudest accomplishment was maintaining her 4.0 and thus graduating as a King O'Neill scholar. <laughs> After graduating, Kylie will start working toward a doctorate degree in clinical psychology with a concentration in forensic psychology. Congratulations, Kylie. <laughs> Next is Maria Sara Cueto. She's graduating with a degree in biomedical sciences and a minor in psychology. As a member of the Performing Arts Healthcare Capstone course, she had the opportunity to interview a professional musician and professor at Wake Forest University to learn about the different health issues that he's faced over the course of his career. After this, she investigated various approaches to promoting well-being in the performing arts community. 
Her favorite honored memory was her experience in the Germany Beyond the Classroom program in 2022, where she expanded her worldview, learned about new cultures, and explored her own interests. Maria will start medical school in the fall of 2023 to pursue her goal of becoming a physician. Congratulations, Maria. Our next graduate is Sarah Schellhoff. She's graduating with a biomedical engineering degree and a minor in French and Francophone studies. She completed an honors thesis studying the early stage development of neuronal processes using two types of imaging. Her favorite honors memory was living in the honors LLC for two years, where she says she met some of her closest friends. Sarah is a 2022 initiate in the Phi Beta Kappa Academy <coughs> Honor Society. She plans to attend a master's program in engineering. Congratulations, Sarah. <laughs> Next is Dalton Simmons. <laughs> Dalton is completing her degree in integrative animal biology. She completed an honors capstone course in which she designed a student-led tour through an exhibition in a contemporary art museum on the Panther campus. Dawson's favorite honors memory is living in the honors living learning community during her first year at USF. Uh, she made lifelong friends while learning how to navigate her first year in college. After graduating, Dawson will be starting a four-year Doctor of Veterinary Medicine program at the University of Florida. Congratulations, Dawson. next graduate is Nicholas Smith. <laughs> Nicholas is completing his degree with a uh, major in mechanical engineering. He participated in the honors capstone course on the new building, but his favorite honors memory is creating an autonomous robot for his engineering capstone project. Did you bring it along? <laughs> Nicholas is seeking full-time employment involving green energy methods, sustainability, and other technologies important to ensuring a clean and healthy planet. Congratulations, Nicholas. <laughs> Next is Gabrielle Tuckman. <laughs> Gabrielle is graduating with a major in biomedical sciences and minor in psychology. Her honors thesis investigated barriers to accessing, completing, and engaging with mental health treatment services among a variety of mental health disorders and patient demographics. Her, her favorite honors memory is completing and then presenting her honors thesis at the USF Health Research Day 2023. Next, Gabriel will be applying to medical school. Congratulations, Gabriel. Our next graduate is Samantha Templin. She's completing her degree in accounting. She completed an honors capstone titled Arts and Health at the Ringling Museum of Art, in which she learned how to deliver thoughtful and therapeutic art discovery sessions with open dialogue and without judgment or partiality. She also studied medical conditions such as dementia and PTSD, and how art interactions can help patients relieve stress and experience positive emotions. Samantha's favorite honors memory was her study abroad trip to the Bahamas, where she studied the local flora and fauna. She will work full time in auditing uh, while studying to take the CPA exam. Congratulations, Samantha. <laughs> Our next graduate is Afia Thompson. Thea is graduating with a degree in biology, with a concentration in medical biology. For her honors capstone project, she explored the effects of monumental public events on people's lives and worldviews. Her favorite honors memory is fostering her leadership skills and giving back to USF and the Tampa Bay community, especially through joining the Dean's Student Leadership Society. After graduation, Thea will enter Nova Southeastern College of Optometry and become an optometrist specializing in ocular disease. Congratulations on you. <laughs> Next is Sydney Tubbs. Her honor, uh, she's graduating with a degree in biomedical sciences and a minor in public health. Her 
honors thesis is a comparative qualitative analysis of accessibility features in several nations in Western Europe and in the United States to determine where improvements could be made. City's proudest accomplishment at USF was presenting two research projects at the spring 2022 undergraduate research conference. Sydney will be attending the South University West Palm Beach Anesthesiologist Assistant Program. Congratulations, Sydney. <laughs> Next is Olivia Tucky. completed her degree in cell and molecular biology with a minor in anthropology. She completed an honors college thesis in which she produced models in R programming language to determine the expected population growth of a population of certain marine crustaceans at different population conditions. She also tested their reproductive success at different densities in laboratory conditions. Olivia's proudest accomplishment has been maintaining a 4.0 GPA in her cell and molecular biology classes while also holding leadership positions in school organizations and balancing other responsibilities. Indeed, Olivia has maintained a 4.0 GPA overall and is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar. <laughs> After graduating, Olivia will be working at the National Institutes of Health in a post-baccalaureate cancer research training program for two years um, while before pursuing a PhD in cancer biology immunology or a related field. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is the next graduate is Alicia Wong. She's graduating with a major in biomedical sciences and a minor in economics. Alicia's favorite honors memory is the everyday opportunity, she says, to sit with her small class of peers and discuss all the things students think about but rarely get to say. <laughs> her proudest accomplishment was being part of the first figure skating club at USF and competing with them as the first Florida team to qualify for the 2023 National Intercollegiate Final. Alicia is graduating as a King O'Neill Scholar with a perfect 4.0. plans to spend next year studying all day at the USF Health uh, Mosaic College of Medicine, shadowing, striving, and doing research. Congratulations, Alicia. <laughs> Our next graduate is Andrea Waitashova. <laughs> A chemistry major, she completed the Judy Genshaw Honors College thesis in which she investigated the relationship between hearing loss and Alzheimer's disease to determine if hearing tests could be used as an early detection test for Alzheimer's. Andrea's favorite honors experience was working as a tutor uh, for the Jenkins and Holcomb programs where she was able to help other students succeed in their courses. Next, she will begin medical school at Kansas City University School of Medicine. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next graduate is Lillianne Whitten. <laughs> Lillianne is a biomedical sciences major. She participated in the Transitional Justice Capstone course in which she and her group researched the background of the Civil War in Liberia and how the country can enact policies centered around the four pillars of transitional justice for improvements for their citizens. Lillianne's proudest accomplishment at USF was becoming the Director of Community Service for Chi Omega and raising over $16,000 for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Lillianne will be pursuing a doctorate at the University of Florida's College of Pharmacy at their Lake Nona campus to eventually become a pediatric clinical pharmacist. Congratulations, Lillianne. <laughs> Last and out of alphabetical order because she had to arrive late into an exam is uh, Nia Martin. <laughs> Nia is a chemistry major with a minor in criminology. Her honors capstone project was a documentary about the experiences of three female, black female honors college students as they pursue higher education in a predominantly white institution. Nia's favorite honors memories are from her two years as a peer mentor. 
and your plans to find full-time employment in science education. Congratulations, Nia. Congratulations to all of you here in the audience. I uh, am a firm believer and strongly feel that none of these graduates would be here if it was not for the support, encouragement, and mentorship that you all provided to them. So I would like to give a, a solid round of applause for everyone in this room. And for our graduates, I would like to say congratulations on behalf of the USF Alumni Association. Your journey is now transitioning from one as a student to a uh, relationship as an alum of this Biden University. Uh, as you transition from student to alumni, you are joining a network of over 389,000 alumni around the world. Uh, that you now have a lifelong connection both to those fellow Bulls as well as this great university. As a uh, graduate, you are automatically a general member of the Alumni Association, so there's nothing you need to do. Uh, as you walk across that stage, whether it's Saturday, Sunday, Friday, however many commencements we have over the next few days, one of those days when you go down those steps, you are now officially an alum and a graduate of this university. Nothing more to do. We do have a life membership program, which for uh, all the parents out there, because I gave you uh, some accolades, uh, don't, don't be afraid to potentially purchase a, a life membership for these graduates. That's my quick little plug for, for life membership. Uh, we have uh, approaching 10,000 life members of the Alumni Association, and they're really a great group to be a part of. Uh, as I mentioned, we have 389,000 alumni. That means wherever you end up, whether you stay here locally or wherever you end up in the world, you are more than likely to have a fellow bull in your community. Take advantage of that alumni network, uh, utilize other alumni, ask them for advice, and then as you develop in your career, don't be afraid to reach back and bring up some of our students through our mentorship program or connect with younger alums as you progress in life. We do have 40 chapters around the world, uh, so in most major cities, you're gonna find an active and engaged alumni chapter to connect with. And we also wanna know what you're doing as you progress through life. You are all going to be highly successful just catching uh, some snippets towards the tail end of what your student experience was. I have no doubt that your alumni experience and your professional careers are really going to skyrocket. And we want you to keep us keep in touch with us. Uh, let us know how you're doing. Uh, two weeks ago, we had our Outstanding Young Alumni Awards in this very room, where we recognized six young alumni, so alumni under the age of 35. Two of those were, in fact, Honors College graduates. Uh, so there is a chance that you can come back here uh, with another audience of this size again, but this time, uh, not as many of you up here, so you know, really focused on you and your successes. Uh, so we would love to have you back here to be able to celebrate your success. Uh, lastly, uh, I want to once again say congratulations and welcome to the alumni family. I want to take uh, just a moment and thank a couple of people who um, uh, put this, uh, this event together. Uh, Mr. Dana Taylor, our Director of Marketing and Communications in the back of the room. <laughs> and I uh, from somewhere around here, um, our uh, Facilities and Events uh, Director. Uh, they both work very hard on this, this event and I appreciate their, their hard work. I also want to say a special thanks to those who put together the scripts that I've been reading from this entire time and these slides that you've been watching, as you might guess, there's been a whole lot of work that went into getting all this organized, and most of it was done by students um, in our marketing and communications group, and so I want to thank them very quickly by name. Thank you, Kristen D'Souza, Amri Levine, Maria Isaacs, Ari Herrera, uh, Riva Gandhi, and Alexis Agnew. Thanks. Thank you. Now, we just have one more thing to do. We're going to take a picture of everybody outside. If um, the audience, if you and the audience would just remain seated for just a second, 
I'm going to ask the, the graduates to use these side aisles and the side doors to go out to the fountain, and, and we'll get you gathered out there. And then once they're out, the rest of us will follow and take uh, lots of pictures. So thank you all very much for being here. Go Bulls! <laughs>